Namaste, namaskar. Today I'm taking you to eat Indian food throughout New Jersey. If you guys don't know, New Jersey has some of the best Indian food in America. I visited three different cities, Jersey City, Edison, and Parsippany, and I ate so much delicious food. You got curries, we have dosas, we have pani puri, Indian street food, you have high-end food. Whatever you want Indian food-wise, they got it. Now without further ado, let me introduce you to Indian food in New Jersey. So you have Ganesh Chaturthi coming on. Uh, that's a birthday of Ganesh, Lord Ganesha, and it's day after, and it's pretty huge in Indian community. So all the temples are going to be decorated. So if you don't know who Lord Ganesh is, or you know, God Ganesh is the one with the elephant face, yeah. right? And so it's uh, Shiva's son. Yeah. Something happened. They cut off his head. Then he went out and he found an elephant, put yeah. the head on, right? Something yeah, like that. That's right. That's so, <laughs> so right here we have Ganesh. Hey, how you doing? My friend, what's up, man? <laughs> Our first stop is Honest Restaurant. Here we're gonna have pav bhaji. Pav bhaji, yeah, and it's really famous. It's made with amul butter, the real Indian butter. And right here, before you enter the restaurant, you have the menu, right? So all the pav bhajis, right? I had this in Mumbai. Yeah. Really good in Mumbai. Mumbai street food. Then they also have some dosas, Bombay chats, so chats like more street food. Oh, everything looks amazing. Let's go. So this is how they started in Ahmedabad. Uh, it was a hand cart, pulled hand cart, and then they started growing to different countries and now they are in US. And this is Honest Restaurant, so it's like an Indian diner, fast casual, and we're sticking to the pav paji. So we're just going traditional, regular, so it's a vegetable curry, a lot of tomatoes, you have some potatoes in it as well. You have uh, onions, you have uh, green peas, you have different vegetables, it depends from place to place, some mm -hmm. add cauliflower, some add bell peppers, so it's it varies from place to place, but here it's made fresh, and that's their USP. That's the curry, and the next two you have two pieces of bread, which is the pav. Pav, yeah. Pao. So it's a pav. It's a soft, two small buns, and that's to be eaten with the pav bhaji. Perfect. Ten dollars. Yep. Let's go. All right. So this is it. Pav bhaji. Pav bhaji. Pav bhaji. Pav bhaji. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to say. I mean, you it's, gotta really read it. Yeah. It's pav bhaji. Pav bhaji. Yeah, that's right. It's Perfect. Pav yeah. So, so nice fluffy bread. bread. Pows, these are called pows. Mm -hmm. This is the bhaji. You have onions and lime. You okay. need to sprinkle it and then dig in. That's it? Yep. And then we also got some mango lassi. Yeah. So this is to cool down the heat because we have Indian spice. spice. Yeah, Indian spicy I'm so bhaji. excited. <laughs> Me too. You add some onions. Okay. Perfect. And we'll add lime. Makes it so you have all that ghee. Is it ghee? It's butter. It's butter. butter. Okay. Wow, can I just try it? Mm. It's it? spicy? It's spicy. Oh. oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. So we just grab a piece of fluffy bread? Bread and... Um, so you just break it off like that? Break it up like this. Okay. And you can take a spoon okay. and scoop it. it no scoop. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Spicy. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow. Nice vegetable, like pasty. Pasty, know? a lot of butter, mm -hmm. creamy. Oh wow, it's so creamy. Yeah. Oh. It's all the amal butter. I love the bread. And it's crunchy mm -hmm. and soft at the same time. This is incredible. incredible. I don't even think I've had a this good. In the US? Oh, in the US, never. <laughs> US, this is, this is the place to come. Yeah. You want to? Get the spoon. Just, and just have a bite of... Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. Mmm. It's tasty. Mmm. This is pure veg. Pure veg. Oh. They make it even without onion and garlic on request. Mm-hmm. For people who are Jain. Okay. So... Yeah, and one thing that, you know, I've been converting a lot of people to Indian food, and they get blown away when they learn this is pure veg. Yeah, pure veg. They're yeah. like, how is that possible? Because it's so tasty. Tasty and it has all the right amount of ingredients at the right <laughs> quantity. But it's spicy. It's spicy, It's yeah. like real spice. Yeah. So this is I how we it. Indians eat the street. It's a street food in Bombay. Let me Bombay. join you. Let me join you. Just grab it that, right? Yeah, just grab it. Oh, look yeah. at that. Mm, it has a tanginess of the tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> I'm getting hit hard. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should try some lassi now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish this whole thing. <laughs> so it's like a potato mash, green peas, tomatoes, tomatoes, 
uh, onions, bell peppers, <coughs> and a lot of spices. <laughs> this one's spicy. Yeah. So they have a house blend here, and mm -hmm. they make their own spice blend, and okay. that's why it's spicy and it's fresh. This is so good. If you like like pasty tomato paste yeah. with vegetables, I think you'll love it. Obviously, don't go with the Indian heat unless you love spicy food. Yeah. Mm hmm. And it's how you eat it, right? Yeah. Break, dip, and eat it with your hands. Mm. I think I have to limit this because we still have a lot to eat. Yeah. And this is what you're supposed to drink, you know, after a really spicy meal, you know, or, you know, you're on a really hot day in Mumbai. You drink this. Lassie. The only thing is so thick. <laughs> <laughs> so it fills you even more. It's not like amber so thick. Yeah, it's you know? not. Yeah, but it's thick. It's, it's still thick. thick. Here's, I've had variations where it's like crazy thickness with like crumbles. Yeah, right? the malai and everything. The malai and everything on top. But this one's uh, a little more watered down, watered right? Down, yeah. But then there's some versions that are super watered. Watered down. Yeah, this is a. It's somewhere in there between. Mm, I think I gotta get a little more. <laughs> One more bite. Yep. Mmm. Wow, what a delicious spicy meal. Yeah, to start with. Mmm. So this is a Mumbai street food. staple. Yeah, Mumbai street food. The hard thing in Mumbai is you eat this, but you have to be standing up eating it. Yeah. You know, like, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Oh, man. Maybe next place we'll have to tell them to tone it down. No, no, no. Are you sure? Spicy the better. <laughs> I am pretty full, but we still have a lot of places to go to. Egg mania. They have a lot of Indian variety eggs, like uh, Surti Gotala, which is a favorite uh, Surat street food. And you have Volcano Biryani, which has an egg in between. And it's really tasty, and you should definitely try the spicy one. I'm trying all of them. All of them. Egg spicy biryani. Yes. So here we are at Eggmania and we'll try all the different kind of varieties of egg and let's start. My man, how you doing? I'm fine, how are you? Very good. So what are we doing? What eggs are we doing? Something from Surat, right? Surat? I recommend you the Surti Gotala, that's the one of the famous dish from Surat. And the another, it's a biryani, it's called Volcano Biryani. We're gonna do those two. Yes. That's, that's perfect. Oh. So I'm in the back seeing how they make a few dishes. Over here they're making some masala, right? So you have the onions, you put some oil in there. And over here he's making some eggs and he makes these called So that's funny. Right? Paneer bougie. Paneer bougie. So it's like a mix of like herbs, some vegetables, and then paneer, which is cottage cheese. Incredible. And over here, we have the eggs. Lots of eggs. In Surat, I heard it's a street with all the eggs. I gotta go there one day. One day I'll go. Okay, so we have two dishes. I just watched them make both of them. What is this one? So this is called Surti Gotala. Okay. It is shredded boiled egg with lots of butter and right. spices. Yep. And yummy. It looks like a thick, thick. pasty again. You yeah. know, you have to use bread, yeah, obviously. You have to. It's a toasted bread. Okay, then so you just break a piece. Break a piece and, and just scoop. Mm -hmm. Take all the so, butter and. And when the she egg. says a lot of butter, you put like a big yeah, block. block. For this one bite. One <laughs> bite, yeah. And then you just. Mmm. Spicy. Mmm, a little spicy. Mmm. Yeah. So I'll say, like, it's a nice. Scramble egg with paste, you know, a few different herbs in here. Herbs and. Mmm. Let me try it like this, okay? Mm hmm. Oh, nice and oily. Yeah. Oh, now I'm getting spice. Yeah. I didn't feel it before. But, like, the more bites you eat, you're gonna feel the heat and mm -hmm. it's gonna be more spicy. And a super filling dish. Yes. Like, it's so thick. So thick, it has butter, it has eggs, and it's just gonna fill you up right I've away. never tried this before. So, is this from Surat? Yeah, it's from Surat. It's uh, a street food in Surat, like a place where you get all the egg varieties and all the specialties there. <laughs> it's spicy. I feel it, but I need some more. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> What I'm gonna say is that this is probably one of my favorite scrambled eggs ever. Got it. But I heard so many good things about Surat. You know, I went to Medabad, uh 2018, and everybody's like, "How can you not go to Surat for so, yeah. the eggs?" And I'm like, "Eggs and next the time. Lucho and everything. You need to go to Surat. Mm -hmm. It's really good. The street food there is amazing. This is amazing. This is so like." Whoa. Fine. I mean, I love the textures, right? Yeah. So it's a big mix here. Yeah. A, l a little slimy, too. Yeah. Right, like because that. Because of the butter and the egg. Yeah. Look at this. 
If I eat this whole dish, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'll have one more little one, but I gotta say, I'll rank this again like top egg dish ever. That's great. Mm. I'm glad you loved it. Mm. Okay, so before we get to the volcano biryani, which looks like the best biryani of all time, <laughs> we have uh, like cacao? It's, it's cocoa. called cocoa. 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 Okay. cocoa. It's take cocoa powder with milk. It's sweet it's, and it's served chill. I mean, basically like a chocolate milkshake. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on top, you can't see it from it's, there, but you have, you the, have the pieces shed, of chocolate. Shed. Okay, so how do we eat this? So you have to mix okay. the gravy. Wow, just mix it throughout? Yeah, throughout so that you get it's evenly spread out. Whoa. And this is so unique, you know. I've eaten Indian food so many times, first time trying this dish. Yeah, it's, it's a specialty over here. So. Wow. And then you have the omelet down here. Yeah, so the omelet's at the very bottom, right? Yep. Just so you break it up. Break it up. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Another super buttery dish. Spicy. Spicy. Really spicy. Mm -hmm. And the flavors are really. Love the flavors. So obviously this is not your traditional biryani. Yeah. There's something else. They just it's just made like this. a mix, maybe say a pulao, and with gravy and omelet in the base. It's amazing. It is so unique. Nice flavors. Lots of heat. Yeah. Lots of heat. Hmm. Eggs everywhere. Yeah, it has boiled egg, it has omelet, and... So the omelet's at the very bottom. Yeah, it's in the very bottom. It, that's the base for okay. the... Okay, right there. Yeah. And you get some more of this. Some of the rice and gravy. The gravy is like all throughout. <sighs> the spice though. The spice is it's intense. It, it's intense. You can feel the butter mm -hmm. here as well. The butter. The whole thing is butter. Yeah. Like another big block of butter. Each one has that. <laughs> yeah. So lots of butter, lots of eggs, nice gravy, yeah. and just, you know, infinite eggs yes, here. Yes, infinite eggs. Wow. So Surat is the place to go if you want to eat eggs. Yep. I should be done with the tour, but. <laughs> no, we, no. We, we need one more. We need to go one more place. Oh. That's hot. Maybe two more. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so it's a different type of rice here. Yeah. Too. It's, it's basmati. Basmati? It's basmati rice. Mm. This is perfect to cool me down. Yeah. You know, nice and liquidy. This is the ultimate biryani. 100. percent You gotta try this when you come to Jersey City. Yeah, have you to. should. Egg menu. But yeah, I mean, I think this is the spot you yeah, have to come. Yeah, you to. have to. You shouldn't miss. You have the same thing in paneer as well. People who don't eat eggs. So that's good to know. So if you're veg, obviously you switch it up. Yeah, they'll switch it up for you. Same way with the surfi gotala, it can be made with paneer as well. Oh, that thing is just like heaven. Heaven, yeah. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, so bro. Much, Thank bro. you. Amazing, Thank amazing. You, nice Loved day. it, man. I'll come back for those eggs, bro. Thank I'll you come so back much. for sure. Back. Next time I'm in New York, I come back to Jersey City. Bye bye. Thank you. Namaste. Namaskar. Let's go. So what is this place? So uh, it's more like a department store which sells all puja items and spiritual items and they have all kinds of gods and goddesses. So unfortunately they don't want us to shoot inside so we're gonna keep going and see if we find some more food. Where are we going to next? Next we'll go to Mithas. It's a chat place. They also sell sweets, Indian sweets. We'll have their uh, Sev Puri and uh, yeah. Raj Kachori. I've had both those dishes before. I love them. But I don't know how I'm gonna do this. The food, the food <laughs> come on in right now. And it's called uh, metais. Metais. Metas. This is metas. Every restaurant we've gone to today has a different layout, right? This is more like a bakery layout. Yeah. As soon as you walk in, you have a bunch of tables. I think it's 20 because they have all the numbers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Over here, they have all the sweets, lots of sweets. So the guy said, we'll get you the Raj Kachori, but instead of getting the Sev Puri, let's go with Ras Malai because you have to try a dessert here. So we have Ras Malai here, which is like a mix of like cottage cheese, cottage right? Cottage cheese boiled in milk and soaked in milk at this place, and it's a speciality here. This is my favorite. I'm this over Gulab Jamun or Ras Gula every day. Every day. This is so good. It's sweet. <laughs> yep. And then right here we have Raj Kachori, which is like potatoes, a big, huge, huge puri. puri. And it is stuffed with potatoes. It has sweet chutney, it has mint chutney, yogurt, save, and some cilantro. Amazing. I had this in the city of Jorhat in Assam. Okay. Yeah. And it was like a big one like this, big a monster. Okay. I mean, look how monstrous this is. Huge. So how do you go into this? So, yeah, spoons. Break. 
Oh. And what I love about this is it's gonna be a little cold, right? Yeah, oh, so you if see you it? see the stuffing here. Mm-hmm. And just break. Just break. So Cheers. Cheers. It's so good. Mm. Mm. It's like the mm. ultimate refreshing chat. Yep. It's sweet. It's cold. Mm-hmm. It's refreshing. It's crunchy. Crunchy. It has everything. It has everything. So many textures. Yep. Mmm. If you didn't know. And if you don't know about Indian cuisine, you probably think this is a dessert. Yeah, but it's not. No. Nah. It's it's a chaat. It's a street food. Oh, it is so unreal. Love the stuffing, right? So yeah. it's like potatoes. And you got some has, lentils, right? Yeah, it has green uh, beans, mug beans. Mm -hmm. It's soaked and mashed. Look at this. I'll it's say so every good. dish I've had so far today has been mind blowing. Mind blowing. Yeah, they're all amazing. Yeah. And obviously, the difference is the people who is doing it, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they're all locals. Uh, most people here, like, born in India and moved over. Yeah, so yeah. a few are like that and a few are second generation. Mm -hmm. So it depends from place to place. Take this away from me. Oh. <laughs> Take it away, I'm serious. <laughs> you sure? Oh, it has um, mm. chickpea as well. Mm -hmm. So chana. Chana. Mm. We gotta finish this. <laughs> 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 yeah, before I get to that, I'm gonna have a few more bites. Yep. You have to come here and try this. The one thing you have to try here is this. Yeah, Raj Kochori is, be is the best thing in Mithas. And it's really fresh and refreshing. I think it's also because I haven't eaten this in so long. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Uh, once you, st you go back to India, maybe you'll feel that. Yeah, yeah, better. exactly. Are you ready for dessert? Yep. I know I am. Everybody I introduced to Ras Malai fall in love. Everybody. My yeah. parents. They love it. My cousins, yeah. Oh. This sweet dish is just... It's addictive. Yeah. It is truly addictive. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. So it's like a huge, you know, cottage cheese, like, it's like a, not meatball, not, yeah. like, it's like in that shape, right? Yeah, that shape, and it's soaked, it's juicy. It's crumbly. Crumbly, and it has the flavor of saffron, pistachios, and... Exactly. The milk and malai. No, the milk. The milk is too much. It's too much, and it's really good. Mmm. -hmm. I mean, saffron. Wow. And this but, one, another one at the bottom? Yeah. He's giving Whoa. This, <laughs> this is like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for good measure, right? Yeah. This is my favorite Indian food in America so far. Like, straight up. I've had a lot of Indian food in America. Los Angeles, Miami, even yesterday in East Village. But this but is something should. different. You're going to Edison. You'll love it. I there. know. I'm going to Edison tomorrow. Oh, one more bite? Yep. Mm. I'm done. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you so much. Amazing. I love the Raj Kachori with that Ras Malai. Yeah. Stole my heart. <laughs> we are always here for you. Welcome anytime. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I'll see you next time. Thank, thank you. you. I'm extremely full, but we still have two more things to try. Where are we going? We'll have sugarcane juice and Indian sweet bun right next door to Mitha's. Okay. Bun House. This one? Yeah. Oh, wow. So this is this restaurant across this little street right here. And we're here at Shital Pan Center. Oh cool, it's a little hole in the wall. So this is the Indian sweet pan. And traditionally you have it in one whole bite. Just like... Oh yeah. I've done this multiple times in India. I love it. This gives you energy. It yeah. literally okay. gives you wings. <laughs> mm. Love it. Hard to talk. You have the leaf. You have so many different things inside. Nice and sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet, yeah. It's the sweet pan. Meetha pan. You call it meetha pan. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. And they add um, gulkan, which is made of uh, rose petals and sugar. But once you're done, you feel it. You go up. Yeah. The energy level just skyrocket. Yes. I need it right now because it's 4 o'clock. I'm very tired. And that's how you need to end an Indian meal mm -hmm. with pan. With pan. And here he's gonna make the sugarcane juice. When you walk the streets of India, you'll see guys doing this everywhere. They usually have like a big cart. They have a billion long sugarcanes like this, right? This is actually very small. But here, he's putting the same machine, same type of machine, right? So it grinds it and extracts the sugarcane out, right? The juice looks amazing. I can't wait. Obviously, lots of sugar, but this is the best refreshing thing you could ever have on the streets of India in the heat. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. I'm your 
No way. If it's been here, dude, another subscriber. Yeah. What's your name? Sai. Sai? Yeah. And you're from here? Yeah. You oh. just see. Awesome, man. <laughs> so this video is coming out soon. All right. Plus Thank Edison you. as well. All right. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. You have followers all over the world. Sugar cane juice. Sugar cane juice. Let's yeah. do it. So refreshing. I know. We were talking about this earlier. You know, when you're walking around India, you're eating, you know, spicy food, you're out in this super so hot sun, sun and, and you find a guy selling this, you're like, yeah, for five rupee, you know, you get a cup. <laughs> cup and, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. It's really refreshing and it is so good. It's so good. And it's natural, right? This is the hardest thing to find in America. I actually found a place in Miami, okay. a Cuban place that mm -hmm. has it. Same thing, it has mm -hmm. a machine to extract the juice. But this is just unreal. Unreal, yeah. Unreal. The Indian thing with uh, they add ginger and lemon to it so that mm. it gets more flavorful. And sometimes they throw like some masala, right? Yeah, the jaljira. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am so calm now. Calm? I need a bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish this really quick. Now, let's go explore a little more. I know there's a few other shops around here. There's also a grocery store. And this is it, right? The strip is very small. I mean, it's like two blocks, one street. That's it. You got restaurants. You have Patel Brothers. Oh, Patel Brothers is right here. Bro, what up? Yay! Hey! Thanks, man. What did you guys try today? Oh, man. Too many things. So, so are you guys going to Edison? There are like more Tomorrow, places. tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. So I'm going to suggest you some place called Mughal. Mughal. Okay. Try that. They got amazing, amazing food there. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. So hey, hey, thank you. Follow you, man. Awesome, awesome. See you every day. Thanks, guys. Oh, you're all too right, much, man. Hey, David. Before we leave, let's go to an appliance store and see what we get. Like all the Indian utensils, and we have Lord Ganesha's here. I mean, you weren't kidding with the Lord Ganesha. I mean, yeah. how many does he have? Huge. Huge. So people buy these and put them in their homes, right? Yeah, in their shrine. Shrine and like they bring him mm -hmm. and they celebrate him for like one day, three day, five day, depending on how their rituals are. And in the last 11 day, they put him back in the river or sea and that's called Visarjan. Okay. And he's, he comes back every year. Oh, okay. That's Ganesh Chaturthi. So he comes every year, he's prayed for a certain number of days and then he's immersed in the sea or river. Okay. Have the Ganesh Chaturthi coming up. We have a lot of different, different types of Ganeshas and eco-friendly ones and the decorated ones. Over here we have the pans that they use to make doses, which is a little different, right? So it's more like a flat pan. And the reason for that is just the way they do it, right? Yes, to it make it to perfect. Flat. Rotis, dosas, parathas, and all different kinds of flatbreads. So this is Toran and this is usually placed outside everybody's house or temples and it's decorative and it's a kind of symbol like it's an Indian household when you see this outside every house. So this place you can find all the Indian utensils, the cookers, you have this to separate for the tally. So this is like a, you know, the bowl, right? So here you put the few different things. So a tally basically means big dish and you put a few different things on it. So you have basically, um, you know, a big sample of stuff, yeah. right? It's curry, savories, chapati. Parties and whatnot. I love your shop. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I think I'm gonna take one of these for my daughters. You want to like girlfriend? I'm married. I'm married. Oh, I'm married. Okay. This guy's a character. Oh. Too much. Too much. Too much. Okay, so my friend here is charging me only ten dollars for these two. He's giving me basically a gift here. Thank you, sir. Thank you I so much. Appreciate for coming and appreciate for visiting. No, thank you so much. My daughter's gonna love this. Yeah. So blue for Sienna and pink for Melina. I love it. I want some for me. No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> I give it to you. Yeah, I give it to you. Uh, I don't know, for a man? For a man, what do you want? I don't know. Maybe look for Ruja and Mishina. Do they have for men? Yeah. They no have way. Steel color. Yeah. You do? Yeah. Your hand is big, I think so. No. Oh, that hurt actually. Yeah, I need a, I need a pretty big one. I don't know good for you. Okay. Woo. You're too kind. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. Thank you. Take Thanks care. Mama, take care. Let's, go. Let's go. And that's it, my friends. We explored Jersey City's Newark Ave, also known as the Indian Square, Journal Square. Yep. Incredible. What an amazing strip. I mean, it's just like non-stop Indian restaurants, grocery stores, you got jewelry shops. You have places like that one we just went to. And it was amazing. We had Papaji. Papaji. We had Raj Kachori. We had eggs, different styles. That is Surti Gotala, Volcano Biryani. Sugar cane juice and pan. sweet pan. Sweet pan. Incredible. What an experience. Really some of the most authentic Indian cuisine I've had 
in the United States of America. Just a quick 30 minute drive from Manhattan. You can also get here with the subway, right, yeah, as yeah. well? Yeah, you can take a park train and you can get on at Journal Square. Just walk for two minutes and you're, you're... Exactly. Oh, so this is the first uh, Indian restaurant we're going. It's a vegetarian restaurant, mainly South Indian, but they also have North Indian vegetarian food, is Saravalan. I'm excited, hopefully they have a dosa. Yeah. I'm sure they do. Indian, South Indian vegetarian. Loving this Southern Indian restaurant. Look at this beautiful like diner setting, really colorful. Over here you can see them making dosas and you know what? Let's go to the back. You ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, I'm excited. This is my favorite thing to eat in India. I love this. Wow, and this is the ghee roast. Yes. So ghee roast dosa, so it's basically a plain dosa, but they add ghee and then sometimes Inside is doughy, sometimes it's crispy. Yeah, so you could get uh, whatever you want inside of here. Um, so they have hundreds of types of dosa, but this one we're just getting plain. Uh, it doesn't have anything inside here. We're just gonna try it with the sauces so we can get, you know, we can try the main dish, which is mm -hmm. the dosa itself. So we have sambar right here, the tomato, mint, coconut. Thank you so much. And then we have a tali here. That's next up. Oh my gosh, dude, there's too much right here. So we're gonna break it. Right? Yep, break it and dip. Just like that. So where do we go in first? I would recommend trying it with the mint first. This is the best thing on earth. So you just dip it into some chutneys. Oh man, I can't wait. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a good breakfast. Mm-hmm. A little spicy. Yeah. A little bit. This is the least spicy. This is the most spicy. This is in the middle. Mm. But my favorite part, honestly, is this. So uh -huh. Indian foods are meant to be shared. Uh, mm -hmm. That's very different from Westerners, where Westerners will get the whole dish. And that's not the way, best way to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Because um, for us, is all of our dish was meant to be shared. Like this whole thing, a single person eating it, it would be too much of a carb. And it's too much going to be rich, but sharing it is the best way to eat it and get another dish. Mm -hmm. um, that's why we honestly have tallies where you know where if you're getting a single uh, individual serving, that you could try different dishes. So here, exactly. for example, in that tali, there's around 12 to 14 dishes, and that's how we Indians do it. Wow! But my favorite is the sambar. Um, mm -hmm. My favorite is this one. That's the coconut. I already know. I went to Kerala, Liana coconuts had this every day so how do you do it you just keep going right just keep, keep mixing mmm coconut mmm so good so crispy for me honestly this is my favorite type of like pancake in the world yeah dosa and the Dutch pancake in Amsterdam that mm -hmm. you get so those are my two favorites mm -hmm. That one's also a little savory, no? Yeah, that's savory too. So American pancakes are very sugary and fluffy. It's uh, yeah. our entire culture here in this country. It's based on the sweet tooth, you can say. Mm -hmm. We have a certain, you know, certain five things for breakfast. You know, obviously pancakes being one of them. But in, uh, you know, Indian culture, obviously this is South, Southern India. This is where you'll find this, you know, Bangalore, Hyderabad, that's where it really begins. In Kerala, I didn't have that much. I had like the Tata Dosa, which is mm -hmm. almost like a pancake. Mm. This is the best one. It's a little bit of controversy, but as somebody so who's from the Northeast of India, I can be a little neutral observer to this. Uh, dosa is the principle of Udapi uh, form of cuisine, which is from Karnataka, the state of Karnataka. That's why you have hundreds of thousands doses from that region alone. Where, let's say, in Kerala and Tamil Nadu, you also have diversity, but you don't get it as much as you get it in uh, Karnataka, for example. And right here, I think we have Karnataka filtered coffee. Yeah, non filtered. So this is filtered coffee. Filtered coffee. So like I said, this is the vada, the savory donut. This is a staple in southern Indian cuisine. You mix this with sambar, so you just dip it. You let it soak up the sambar. It's so good. I'm personally a big savory guy. I'm like the anti-sweet. This is my jam right here. Oh, look at that. Look at that dosa. So where is the one? <laughs> So they brought us this one, which I think this is the ghee roast, right? Am I crazy? No, it's um, it's, it's similar. It's similar? Yeah. So, so it's another big dosa. I mean, basically the same thing, right? Yeah, it's almost the same thing. Almost the same. So I'm just going to grab more piece. So the best thing to do is just yeah, like just drown it in the sambar. Let it soak that up. Mm-hmm. Love this. Yeah, I have a full-time job, so 
And so it's you can't. Hard to get. Hard to make time. Hard to make time. I actually like it with less butter. Mm -hmm. The other one's a little too much. It was buttery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is without. So. And again, the best, the best chutney is the coconut chutney, in my opinion. I'm just like going all in on this. You gotta slow down. So much, so many carbs, right? Yeah. Just brought some uh, with some more chutneys. We got the tie right here. So this one has another puri on top, right? Mm -hmm. You know, pop it up. Yep. And then you have rice, and you have like seven. No, it's twelve, right? Different types of uh, curries. Okay. And this, the filter coffee. Yeah, the filter coffee. My favorite. Mm. And if you want to cool down, you do like this, right? Yeah, yeah. You pour put it in, it in there. Pour it in. Here. Then pour it back. Then pour it back. Pour it in. That's all. That's all. That's it. Enough time. You, you want some? Oh, sure. Yeah, let's drink, man. Mm. Fantastic. Oh wow. This is the savory donut. Ooh, it's super hot. We're actually gonna wait on this because it just came out of the fryer. So it's way too hot. That's one thing about Indian food. They always serve it to you scorching, scorching hot. hot. Scorching. Especially tea. Especially tea. Yeah. Especially tea. Chai. So do not drink it quickly. <laughs> yeah, you, you burn your gums. And this is the pour, guys. Look at this. Massive. So it's tole Yeah. So and there's the dip. Okay, so this is, it's almost looks like a chana masala. Yeah, it is. It is? Yes. Perfect. So we just break it off like break this. Break it off and nice and oily, huh? Nice and oily. Want some? Yes. Man, I'm so happy I'm here. We've been planning this for like a month. Yep. He told me it's the best food you're gonna have in the United States, Indian food in the United States. So, and that's how you do it. Just add a little bit on top, right? Mm -hmm. I do it American style. American style with the spoon. Yeah, I make it into a taco. Yeah, if you don't want to get your hands too dirty, right? Yep. Cheers, man. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Nice and light. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice chunky chickpeas. Yeah, nice curry. Mmm. It reminds me of like one of these like like Thai curries in a way. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Indian and Thai food is very similar. Yeah. Obviously the Siam Kingdom was right next door. Yeah, yeah. If you go to northeast India, that whole area is influenced by uh by Thailand, right? No, actually it's the other way around. Northeast? Northeast India, a lot of a lot of um, you had migrants coming back and forth between the two. Oh, yeah. yeah. So the Pala Empire was the one that influenced all of Northeast India, uh, Northeast India as well as uh, Southeast Asia. That's why you have Buddhism and Hinduism in from Bali to Thailand. Learning something new every day, right? While Diwan continues to destroy that puri, <laughs> I'm gonna jump on this one, which is the tally, right? So we have a few different items on the side. I I think I'm gonna go onto one of this, this one, and maybe this one's pickles. So just get the pour right, just a, you know, fluffy, break it. Basically the same, this one's a little thicker than that one. And then I'll go in here and try this. Creamy curry, right? Over here, this is pickle. Oh, get, get, get more, less. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you basically take like a dip. <laughs> a dip. I know. I'm gonna look crazy. <laughs> so this is like points. a condiment. It's like the pickle. Yeah, pickle. So you basically eat like very little mm -hmm. when you're eating it. So and you want to cool off with this. Okay. Um, and what's this? This is different. This is like a tomato soup. It's basically a tomato soup, and you drink it, right? Just mm -hmm. like that. We have a lot of food today. Let's jump on the vada. I think we're ready for the vada. Yeah. So how do you do it? So just tear it up. Just break it? Break it in half. Ooh, okay. And dip it into whatever one you want. I'm going for the one I love. Mmm. I think Dunkin' Donuts needs to adopt this. <clears throat> Maybe, right? So vada is basically a lentil yeah. donut, right? It's a lentil donut, yeah. And inside, it's right now it's like a little crumbly, outside a little flaky. I love it. But it's, it's delicious. It's healthy. Mm -hmm. um, although it is very carby, but mm -hmm. it is healthy. Everything here is very carby. Everything here is meant to fill you up, right? Fill you up, yeah. It's breakfast food. Mm -hmm. yep. Dasso's first time. Dude, yeah. Like, actually, I think, I don't know, like, Indian first. cuisine is crazy. I'm so confused. There's so many things going on. America is becoming more and more globalized, so people will eat it, but 
when I was growing up, no, my, getting one of my friends to try Indian food was uh, <laughs> was a challenge in itself. That's why I'm making a believer out of all of you. Thank you so much, my man. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. This guy's the man. So now you know, come here, have some dosa, some vada, a puri. Thank you so much. No problem. Amazing Thank food. Thank Amazing. You. So what's up? Where are we going? So we're going to go to Tabak, which has Indian fried chicken. Um, it's just like what you get in Delhi and Lucknow. And that restaurant is at the end of this strip mall, right? So you just walk up this little corridor and it's right there. So it is Indian, Bangladeshi, Pakistani. It's a mix of food, right? Yash, where are you from, Yash? Yeah, from, from India. From where? Uh, Haryana. It's one of the states I haven't been to. I haven't been to Haryana yet. Where? New Delhi. New Delhi? Okay, okay. I've been, I've been. Is it where the real butter chicken's from? Yep, you're right. I've never done this before. Dessert before. The yeah, main it's dish. the Bora style. Bora style. Yeah. And what are the people when you said in Mumbai? Yeah, they're the people in the coastal regions. So coastal regions. Yeah. So they usually start dessert first, and then they eat the actual meaty dishes. So they're known for their meat and their desserts. Awesome. And this is Zafrani Kheer. It's uh, again, it's uh, from Lucknow, but the Bora is also. It does, so it's saffron and kheer. Saffron and kheer, yeah. And so pistachio. This is like a rice pudding. I've had it so many times. I've had it on the streets of luck now. It is delicious, super sweet, but you have this chunky rice, right? Mm -hmm. Enough talking. Cheers, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So sweet. Oh, I love it. One more before we get to the chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Oh, I'm super light, nice and liquidy. I love the saffron. Yeah. Without the saffron, yeah, I think it'd be too bland, right? Yeah, yeah. And right here we have, what chicken is this? Just a fried chicken? No, so this is a um, North Indian style chicken. It's um, chicken boti. Chicken boti. Mm -hmm. So is this put on the grill? Yeah, yeah it's right? put it on the grill. So there's yep. not tandoor, just on the grill? Yeah, on the grill. Okay, and then we also have raita on the side. This one looks like it's thick and crumbly, right? Yeah. Mmm. Oh man. Nice and charred. Incredible masalas here. Mmm. Nice and juicy. Mm, it's so good. You know how to have some? Yeah. Well. It's so tasty. Mmm. Mm hmm. I think it needs that, right? So, this is one of the biggest mistakes non Indians do is they get a tandoor and they won't eat it with the sauces. It's like eating a burger without. You know, any condiments. That's crazy. Yeah. That you need it. And you need some yeah. chutney, right? So I had this one close friend of mine. He uh, didn't like tandoori because he's like, it's dry. Then I told him, have it with the right time. Mm. And literally now he always gets tandoori. This is actually a very unique right time. Never had it like this. So raita is produced differently in all over India. So mm -hmm. southern India will produce raita very different from Assam. It's Assam, yogurt, right? Yeah. It's basically yogurt. Locals have different spices that they will use. Oh man, I love this chicken. So Lucknow is the kebab capital of India. Well, Hyderabadis will disagree. But. See, when I went there, unfortunately I was a little sick already, but I still ate. Mm -hmm. Dude, the food there is impressive. So, as a neutral person, Lucknow all the way for kebabs. Lucknow. Yeah. I've been to both, Lucknow. Yeah. But Hyderabad, Birani, Hyderabad. Yeah, exactly. Uh, are you good? One last bite for good measure. Just walk this off. We need to walk this off right now. Hey, David, we're going to enter India Grocery. So, it's one of the largest in New Jersey. Yeah? Yeah. So, an Indian supermarket, basically, right? So, you're going to have spices, you're going to have basically everything you can find in India. Rice. Right here. A lot of rice. Rice. Wow, this place is huge. If you guys don't know about it, thumbs up. It's India soda. Almost like Coca Cola. Too much sugar for me. This is Parley G. It's the most famous Indian cookie. We've been walking around this grocery store for about 10 minutes. There's so many different items. I mean, rice galore. You got ghee. You have pans to make dosa. You have all the fried, uh, you know, fried frozen food, right? Yeah, right here. Yeah. So, so you can't get this kind of selection anywhere in New Jersey in one place. Usually you have your Patel Brothers, your Apna Bazaar. They'll be about one fifth the size of here. So is it the biggest grocery store? It's the biggest I've been to. When I was in college, there wasn't any uh, Indian stuff around here. So I would actually come to Edison to get all my Indian groceries and take it back home uh, to my college. So uh, it was a lifesaver. Yo, what's poha? Poha is uh, ground 
rice, basically rice that are flat. Okay, so that's poha. So we have never ending poha over here. And on this side, we have soy. Soy. So almost 50 to 80% of India is semi vegetarian. Mm -hmm. So this is like the meat substitute. And that's basically because of the Hindu religion, right? Hindu Jain, more so Jain. Okay. Traditions. Take it. Some people told me that I was incorrect, but it is something that like almost half the population is veg. Yes. Okay. Semi. Semi. To okay. Veg. Perfect. My mom, for example, won't eat meat on certain days okay. of the week. The, everything from India. Most people come here to take it home, right? Yeah. This is like where. The main reason I come here is I, I don't like ice cream personally, but I like Indian ice cream. Okay. So I prefer that. So kulfi. Yeah. They have to have kulfi. Yeah. It wouldn't be in an Indian grocery store if they didn't have kulfi. Come on. This is the, the pan for the dosa, right? Right here. It's a little different from your ordinary pan, right? So it's completely flat, and then they put it in, and they just swirl it, and then eventually they flip it, and that's it. Very easy. Oh, look at this. Punjabi chole. Chole batore? Oh, wait, I love the music too. It's like we're in Bollywood. Right? Yeah. It's, uh, let me bring my two favorite flavors. Two favorites? Okay. You have, oh, you have a jalapi one? So these are your two favorites? Yeah, these are my two favorites. This is saffron ice cream. Um, it's one of the best ice cream ever. It's unique. You won't find this in any Western score because saffron is not yet popular in the United States and they don't add any sugar too. So this is Alfonso mango. Yeah, so this is the most popular forms of mango in India and mango, all Indians love mango. Yeah. Any mango is fine, but Alfonso is the most popular. Alfonso or Bengal, those are the two most popular. And mango so, is the national fruit of fruit, India. Yeah. So Alfonso comes from Western India and then there's all the one, the Bengal one, which is from the Eastern parts. Awesome. And over here we have all the little plates, right? Everything for kitchenware, yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. David, we're done here, so we're gonna go to get Indian street food right now. I love this place. You have to come to this grocery store when you come to Edison. Just explore it, walk around. Next time I come back, I'm gonna go through every single aisle and probably try some stuff. They don't have any food in there to eat, right? It's no, not, no. It's not like Patel, because Patel has that sometimes. Yeah, Patel has like samosas and other uh, snacks. But here, yeah, like it's just pure groceries. It's okay. like the Costco of Indians. So we're gonna get some fast food like right over there? Yeah. This trip on Edison reminds me of just, you know, everywhere else in America, like real American yeah, city, yeah, right? Yeah. So everything's really spread out. You have strip malls, just non-stop strip, strip malls. malls. Yep. So here it's basically grocery stores and restaurants. Correct. That's it. Easy, like 20 restaurants, Indian restaurants in this like one strip. I would say more close to three figures here. Three figures here. Look, just here alone you have like 10. Wow. There's another five. All down there is another 20. All right, so we're going right now to Desi Galaxy. Desi Galaxy for Lassi, right? Lassi, Tandai, and various different types of Indian drinks. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Very good, and you? So this is it, Desi Galaxy. So this is like, uh, feels like little stations, right? And we have some Jalabi right there. Really good. Tried that in Chani Chuk. Can't even believe how good that is. It's, it's addictive. Too much. So they have the filtered uh, coffee here. They have the Ilaichi tea here, which I really much enjoy. You can't get that everywhere. You ever had the Rose Lassi? I love the Rose Lassi. It's the best. I love this place. Look at this. They also have Pani Puri right here. So they have how many different pur uh, Panis you have? Like five, six? Six? And spicy one too? Spicy, mild, like khatta, mita, everything. Okay, I'm just taking it straight. Or a bowl? No, I'll just take it straight. All right. A little messy, but it's the best. <coughs> That's the spiciest pani puri I ever had in my life. <laughs> I had a spicy one in Jorhat. Jorhat? Well, that's crazy. That's where my family's from. Not really spicy, though, the best. Best pani puri in Edison, you'll get. First time trying pani puri? Yeah. You know, in India they call me the puri god, so I'm gonna get some more pani puri. Let's do it. One more. Oh yeah. Oh. Put it in the little bowl. And the reason you do that is because all the, you know, the pani is coming out. Pani is water with a little bit of spices, right? That's spice. Yes. Yeah. Kata. Kata mita. Yeah. Oh. So you got six different pani flavors. The spicy one's damn hot. Mmm. Super good. I like that she puts only a little bit of aloo, so that's potatoes. And that's the filling sometimes with chickpeas. Sometimes they add other stuff, right? Yeah. This was just like more like the regular style, right? Yeah. It's really good. Then we're ready for some faluda and alasi. I don't know how I'm gonna eat all this because it is so filling. Look at this. So this is faluda. If you guys don't know what faluda is, uh, there's like 
semolina noodles in here, right? So it's more like a dessert. And this is lassi. There's cold in as well, so there's an ice cream in here, right? And then this is rose lassi, a little different. So basically this is uh, rose, a water. rose water mixed with yogurt and milk. So which one do you want? Uh, I guess I'll go with that one. Is that okay? okay. And you go with this one? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, love the rose water. Mmm. This one is delicious too. Yeah. Yeah. So it has uh, ice cream in here, uh, semolina, and then it has just you know milk. Yeah. And this is like the best thing to have on a super hot day. Oh again. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this like amazing. Is, it's very rich though. So yeah. make sure um, you haven't had dessert before. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I had this at like the end of every night in Mumbai. So good. <laughs> And by the way, this Rosewater Lassi, it's a little different. It's uh, way more liquidy, mm -hmm. a little frothy on top. But I mean, the Rosewater for me is the best. I yeah. love Rose. This is the East Indian stuff. So this is like the Assamese, Bengali mm -hmm. style, where it's not as thick as the, the Punjabi. UP or the Punjabi ones. So UP and Punjabi ones, you literally need a spoon yeah. to eat it. All right, so I'm gonna have some of this. I love going to the bottom and getting the noodles, right? And mixing it with some of this ice cream. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. So this one isn't too thick either. Nice and liquidy. Mmm. And the bottom. Just pull everything out, right? So a few jellies in here. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then you drink. Straight up milkshake. <laughs> it's a milkshake. Mm-hmm. That's really good, man. Yo, dude, where are we going next? We're going to the Mughal Express. Uh, it basically has a uh, lot of uh, Indian street food. Um, very cream heavy. After a quick two minute walk, we're here at Mughal Express. Loving this place already. I just met with the chef right here. His name's Vipal. 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 And he's telling me that I can't try this stuff. I have to go with a butter chicken pizza. Yeah, right? exactly. That's for And my, my, my friend over here, he's the one who <laughs> manages everything. So Awesome, awesome. We have some Indian inspired American pastry range. We have Rasmalai Trelishe. We have Gulab Jamun Shrikhan Pots. We have cupcakes, which are Indian inspired, a lot of stuff. And this is it, the butter chicken pizza. I've actually had this like three times in my life, but this one looks stellar. Look at this with spices and jalapenos, right? Dive in? Yeah. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the ones with chili, man. I need yeah, I like the chili too. Ready, cheers. Cheers. Last bite. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Man, the creaminess of the butter chicken. Mmm, with the cheese and the spice level is perfect, not too hot. Delicious. Delicious. And if you guys don't know butter chicken or makhani, well, it's the gateway Indian food. Gateway. Yeah. It's also the national dish of Great Britain, I think, or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. Well, chicken tikka masala is the national dish of Great Britain. Butter chicken or more makhani is like, uh, it started in Delhi. So, butter chicken uses more cream. Uh, chicken tikka masala uses more tomato sauce, so that's the main difference between the two. I'm destroying this, bro. It's delicious. <laughs> oh my god, man. Yeah, Indian style pizza. Fusion is sometimes good. Fusing up Italian, American, and Indian. Okay, lastly we have? We have the gulab jamun dessert, and we have the Las Ras Malai dessert. This is uh, more, you can say, Indo-Western version of Indian dessert. So. It brings the best of both worlds. So this restaurant itself is um, a mix of cultures mm -hmm. with an Indian base. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Ras Malai. Oh yeah, look at that. So it's Ras Malai and under it, we have ice cream. I think there's like rice pudding, I think as yeah. well, saffron. Too full, this guy ate all the pizza. Cheers, man. Cheers. Fantastic. Oh my God. Mm. The saffron, whoa. That's insane. This is the best cross I've ever had in my life. But obviously it's an American twist here. Indo-Western. Indo-Western. <laughs> I like this one better. Oh man. This one has like fruits. Mm -hmm. Basically it's like a whipped cream. You got fruits in there. I'm the king of the Indian food. <laughs> I love Indian food. We're starting off right here at Dosa House or Sri Ganesh Dosa House. It's been here for over 17 years and they make South Indian breakfast. You know, it's nine in the morning. They, you know, the only places that open Indian food wise 
or South Indian breakfast places because oh, the rest so. of them open at 11.30 usually. Because yeah, yeah. lunch, dinner, that's it. Right. Okay. So I'm excited. We're gonna hit this place up. Then from here we're driving down to Edison. We're gonna eat some more food down there and then probably keep adventuring, you know, south parts of Jersey, right? Or central parts of Jersey. Central Jersey, yeah. Okay. Definitely. Are you ready for dosa? So down. Let's go inside. Let's go. Let's eat. Hey. Morning, morning. How are you doing? My friend, yeah, yeah, my friend. He, he's never tried dosa before. First time. We're gonna make some dosas. Yeah. This is a paper dosa. This is a pepper. Well, he's making for us the paper dosa. It's a super long, thin, crispy dosa. And then obviously, we have on the side the chutneys, right? Yeah. Together. And sambar. Sambar also. Chai, chai. Chai, chai. Hey, man, we can't start this morning off without some chai, right? Yeah. Mmm. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do this. It's like a, a baby dosa. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, the dosa is like massive. The baby dosa? No way. <laughs> Yo, the last do dosa, that was like a blanket. What? <laughs> so along with the paper dosa, we're also getting idli and vada. So idli is steamed rice cakes, vada is a savory lentil donut. That's basically it. We have tomato chutney, we have coconut chutney, and I'm excited. This is utapam. Utapam is the closest thing to a real American pancake, but they put some vegetables on top. So what do you have there? What are you making? Uh, this is uh, onion, potato, the chili, green chili, everything mixed. And then over here he's making the utapam again, and next to what is that? Ravadosa. This is made with the lentils, and this is made with the rice flour, and suji, and uh, some water, and ginger, and uh, it's uh, like a water on. Hey, you're the man. Thank you so much. I'm hungry. Let's go. Okay, my friends, we are ready to eat. This is gonna be amazing. We have the paper dosa, like two foot dosa, the sambar. The sambar actually is a separate because they have a sambar station over here, so you have to serve yourself. Then we have coconut chutney, we have tomato chutney. Over here we have the idli, the vada, and then this is the rava dosa, right? So it's a little different, uh, the flour, right? It's the rice flour for this one. Right, right, right. And this is lentil batter. Okay, so you know how to eat this? Uh, not really. Not really? Okay, uh, okay. I mean, I watched you, but uh, I've never used my hands. I've never had a dosa, so I'm pretty excited to have this. Perfect, so let me show you. Yeah. The dosa, I'm just gonna break it up here, and inside, as you can see, he oh, stuffed it, right? Damn. So it's potatoes. It's delicious. Potatoes and masala, right? Yeah. Grab a piece like this from wherever. Let's try this just plain, right? Just, just plain. get a piece. All right. And then from here, you can dip it into the coconut. I'll get it from here. Same thing, right? Oh, okay. So we write that. Try get, you know, try get enough. That's shutting you, man. Oh, nothing like it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm hmm. What? <laughs> it's crispy. Mmm. I love coconut chutney. Wow. It has almost like a tang to it, but... Mm -hmm. uh, a little spicy, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Almost like a vinegar, almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they put some like some spicy seeds in there as well. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay, so that's what I'm tasting. Mm. That's so good. Wow. My friends, we're, we're actually taking a light today. I didn't want to get too many dosas, you know? Because uh -huh. usually they'll give me like three or four. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is the one you gotta try every time. The paper. Paper dosa. Paper dosa. Okay. Yeah, paper thin. Paper thin. Okay. Basically, right? Over here with the rava. So I think we should jump on this one too. So it's empty, right? Look at this. Wow. Massive. So again, different batter, rice batter. But it's beautiful. So same thing, right? We're just gonna grab a piece. Okay. Just like that. And then you go in and you dip. Oh yeah. Oh man, I can drink this, bro. It's that good. <laughs> Mmm. -hmm. Very different. It has like a crisp to it. Mm-hmm. With all that. Way more crispy than this one, right? Yeah. At, at this point. I think because what happened is he made it a little doughier this one. Mm -hmm. He didn't okay. make it as crispy. So obviously the rice flour is very different gotcha. compared to the lentil batter. Gotcha, gotcha. I, I actually like this one. I love this one. Yeah, yeah. This is the ultimate one. And you should go in here and do this. Like look, this one he put the masala right masala. throughout. Okay. And you open here. So you get the stuffing, get some stuffing like that, just like that. You fold it, it's a little taco, and you go in for the chutney, right? Okay, Super easy. Get as much as you want, bro. 
Okay. We got this. This is our breakfast right now. <laughs> Let's devour it. And then we put it in the coconut chutney. Uh, always coconut. We'll get to the other one next. Okay. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. Mm, that potato, man. Mm -hmm. Everything. Sometimes you make it super crispy, sometimes you make it super doughy. Yeah. So it really depends on the person, right? Gotcha. I think we should definitely try the next chutney, the tomato one. I think this one's gonna be a little spicier. Okay. Here. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Creamy tomato y taste. Mm hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's not so spicy. Not that much, right? I love spicy. Mm -hmm. I love the intense flavors we get from this. You said you're Korean American, right? Yeah, I'm Korean American. Yeah. They love spice. I love spice, uh, but I love Indian spice too. So good. It's very different, right? It so is like, so different. That, that yeah. like doppelki spice uh -huh. is very different from this. So far, I'm loving this uh, the Those, potato part. Yeah. The potato part, yeah. Yeah. So th yeah, th that's the best part about this, and that's why you get full, right? Because if not, you wouldn't be full at all. Yeah. Oh man. All right, we're destroying the dosa. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So we could mix it with this uh, oh, you tomato can, chutney. You can mix tomato and coconut at the same time. Oh, yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Let me try that. Then. Wow. I don't want to get too full here, you know? Mm. You gotta be careful. Mm. With Indian food, but that's why we're starting early. <laughs> and you were asking me, like, South Indian, North Indian. South Indian, they, just, they have way more breakfast, obviously, because of dosas. Yeah. You know, North Indian, they don't have this uh, at all. Okay. They don't, so that's why they open late. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll show you the sandbar next, right? Okay. So let's dip into the sandbar. So that's also a dip. Okay. It, yeah, it's, so it's basically a stew, a, like a okay. like a vegetable stew. Gotcha, right? gotcha. All right, let's see. Mm. Mm. So good. It's like a curry kind of base. Yeah, yeah. Like. So yeah. you got tomatoes in there. Yeah. You have lentils in there. Yeah. Some other vegetables as well. It's almost so, it's not a soup. People always say I'm wrong about that. Not a stupid stew. If you want to, you can get in here and go. Ooh. Mm. Wow. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice. Okay, so what is this? This is uh, what? Rice, is it? Yeah, so it's the Italy steamed rice cakes. So basically, rice, which has been steamed in this shape, right? Okay. And then the same thing, you could just like break it up like that. You go in and you can do with either one, right? Okay. Which one do you want? Oh, it's coconut, right? Coconut? I don't know. Whatever you want. I actually, I'll mix these two, you know, like that. Mm hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. This rice is pretty uh, simple, mm -hmm. but I like that texture. Mm hmm. It kind of reminds me like uh, dim sum kind of bun. You oh. know, the. Uh, like very spongy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. This is a staple. In Bangalore, they've actually, I had one called pata dosa, the size of this plate. Oh. Yeah, amazing. They put like all the things to it. Oh, so good. Wow. I mean, it's a delicious add-on, right? So, yeah. dosa, ili, and vada, always. It just soaks up all that flavor. Mm-hmm. You just dip it in and it soaks. Yeah. And let me, let me show you this, though. This is the vada. So, what is this? It looks like a donut mm -hmm. made from a... Uh, Chickpeas or, or so lentils. Yeah. So it's a lentil. lentil donut. So it's savory. Gotcha. Very different from American donuts. You know, we are all about the sweets, right? Yeah. This is the opposite. This is savory. Usually people eat like two weeks a day in the morning. Yeah. You know, some people have been the game out of me, but I know you got Indians out there eating a lot of these. <laughs> right here, just break it. Beautiful. And then again, what do we do? Dip. Gotcha. So I'm gonna go with this one, tomato today. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be good, right? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 I love this uh, crust. Mm -hmm. The shell. It has like a crispiness to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's lightly fried. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's not like crazy deep fried. Mm -hmm. Inside, you know, fluffy and doughy. And then you also have, as you can see, some like, some type of herb in there, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just mix it again with whatever chutney you want. And this is like how South Indian breakfast is, right? Oh, okay. And usually this is like more like Tamanadu, Karnataka, these these states, you know? Because I went to Kerala and they don't really have doses like this. Okay. They have different types of doses, which is like Tata dosa, which is almost like a regular pancake, you know? Right. Part of the experience of eating Indian food 
24 hours is the breakfast aspect, you know, South Indian breakfast like this. Obviously, there's way more dosas. They have utapam. They have many more items, but we do want to go the traditional route. I wanted to show you what this is. Obviously, paper dosa with the potato mash inside, ili, vada, and then the other one, the rava dosa, right? I'm gonna get a little bit more of this, like that. And I'm done. We still have a lot of eating to go. Mmm. This paper dosa is my favorite. Yeah? The potato filling. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That with the coconut chutney, mm -hmm. that was my favorite. Yeah. Oh, cheers, bro. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, Karnataka filtered coffee. I have regular chai. Alright, so we're done here. Now let's get in the car and drive straight down to Edison. Let's go. Oh man, so excited guys. I'm excited too, I'm <laughs> full though. <laughs> My friend, thank you so much, thank you, I appreciate it. All right, let's go. It's gonna be a long day of eating Indian food for 24 hours. We just did it here in Journal Square. So good, man, so good. My first time having the dosa. That's crazy, first time. Yeah. I, I think I've eaten South Indian breakfast maybe 100, 150 times already. What? Yeah, I try to eat a lot, man. <laughs> So we're gonna get in the car and then we're driving roughly about an hour south to Edison, right? Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's go. First time in Journal Square? I actually have friends over here. Oh yeah? Yeah, but it's my first time having Indian food in Journal Square. I love this little strip, it's amazing. It's literally like little India in Jersey City. So remember that Journal Square right here, lots of Indian restaurants, got some markets. Basically all restaurants, but they open late. They open at 11, 11.30, every single one. Yeah, you gotta make it right here. We're going straight down to Edison. It's roughly around 45 minute drive because there's traffic. I'm from North Jersey. I'm originally from Palisades Park, but I, I now live in South Jersey. So you've never been to India, obviously, right? I've had some Indian food and I can I could only imagine what it tastes like in uh, India. I've been to Edison last trip, but straight on the train to get down there and all the way back. I didn't go in the car. In, by car, you see what this place is all about. We're going on a bridge right now, so there's multiple bridges here. Wow, and what is this right here? This is the Hudson River, man. That's the Hudson. No way, I didn't know that. Hey guys, we're almost at Edison, but we're gonna stop by Island real quick, get some snacks. It's gonna be great. Yes, yeah, so we're actually stopping at a place called Chow Patty Sweets and Snacks. They have Indian snacks from Punjab and Gujarat, and they also have some South Indian specialties. And it's like, uh, I think it's like 10 minutes before Edison, right here, Island. Yeah, it's pronounced Island. I know it's kind of uh, weird, but. Uh, and, that's, is, and this is Central Jersey? This is Central Jersey. So we made it here to Chow Patty Sweets and Snacks, and literally this entire strip just has Indian restaurants. You also have Patel Brothers right here. You have some places selling sadis. I mean, this is awesome. This is like another Indian area. Incredible. Hey, how you doing? Everything good? Good, good, man. We have Pani Puri, we have Jalabi, we have Papara. Kulfis. We have Papara also. You have Papara as well? Yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. We're gonna try a few different things, for sure. So India is all about snacks yeah. and sweets. Snacks and sweets. And over here we have like Ladu. Ladu is so good. You gotta try one of these. Yeah. We're gonna try at least one. And then over here we have the Bani food. Look, there's a party pack, 300. <laughs> <laughs> this is my pack. <laughs> Are all these snacks from like the same area in India or is it all over? Yeah, so it's a big mix, right? So a lot of Gujarati, a lot of Punjab snacks here. Like this one over here, this is. 100% sure this is Gujarati. I had it in a metabab papti, right? So it's like crisp, right? So chickpea flour and then oil. Over here, obviously, we have the pani puri, but then we have all these different snacks, a lot of different crunch, right? They're all about the crunch. So the, you have a restaurant next door? Yeah, our restaurant is next door. And you guys have chats, pani yeah, puri, chats, everything? Yeah, pani puri, everything. So this is the shop where they sell all the sweets, yeah. all the crispy puff, you know, balls. Every, this is all basically take home, right? right? Okay. So next door, we have the restaurant. So let's go there. All right, let's go. Let's get a chat. You have to try a chat. Right. So we just walked into Chow Patty Sweets and Snacks restaurant. I love this place. Look at this. So they have two murals on the sides, you know, basically showing India, Bali with the scenes yeah. of Mumbai. At the very end, they literally have one of the buses. They took it from a junkyard in India and put it here. And that's where their kitchen is. We're going to go into the kitchen now and see how they make two different chats. I think it's going to be Raj Kachori and Bel Puri. Two things that you'll love. One spicy, yeah. one sweet. Okay. Right? And then they also cut the tuk-tuk in half in the front. Awesome. So that's the rickshaw. That's what you like riding all the time yeah, in India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, dude, I'm excited. I'm excited. How you doing, man? What's up? What's up? How you good, doing? good? Good, good. Dude, I love Bel Puri. Bel Puri on the streets of Mumbai. Dude, the best. So it's so this is more like Mumbai, right? 
Because next door, you guys have a lot of Gujarati and Punjabi snacks. It's next door. It's yep. the same owner, right? Same owner, yep, yep. We've been here for 30 years. 30 years? Yeah. All right, guys, so we are ready to go. We just saw how they made two different chats. This is what you're gonna find more on the streets of India. I've actually had this one in Jorhat, Assam, India. And this one I had the first time in Mumbai. I love it, this is bell pori. This one he said is gonna be a little more spicy. Obviously this one's sweet because they put yogurt in it. Yeah. They put tamarind chutney. They got sev, they have a coriander. I mean, it's huge. Look at this monster, it's a massive, massive pori. You know, we're in a restaurant, we're gonna use some spoons. And I think we should just dive into this one. So we're just gonna jump in, right? Look at that, look at this beauty. I could have lifted it up, but it's gonna be easier to eat this one like this. So usually you pick the whole thing up, right? Yeah. But obviously we're not doing it that. We're just gonna do a strike this. Cheers. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. -hmm. It's fresh. Mmm. -hmm. Sweet. Wow. So mm -hmm. good. So good. It has like what chickpeas and the chickpeas. Um, so there's obviously stuff. There's some um, nuts in here as well. A bunch of nuts and then the out of tamarind and the yogurt, right? Wow. So I feel like this is like a nice afternoon snack. Like, mm -hmm. how do they usually eat this? It's like a dinner snack or afternoon snack? Any time of the day. Any time of the day. So you go and get this out of the guy outside making it, you know? Oh, okay, got it. Easy. And what, what, what town this is from? I mean, this is all over India. Yeah. But I had it first time in Northeastern India. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Love this uh, crunch from the outside. Mm hmm Love it. It's, what it? it's huge. Look at this. Massive. It's good though, right? Wow. Oh, so refreshing. Yeah. You know, today, driving around Jersey, I really wanted to show Jason a different side of Indian cuisine, not just, you know, the curries and the rice. You know, that's why I want to start with South Indian breakfast, show you that aspect. Yeah. And now we're in the chats, which is completely different. All street food items, right? And here, you can just dive in, bro. So this is another snack that you could have any time during the day. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned it's from uh, Mumbai, is it? Uh, so, I don't know if it's exactly from Mumbai. Yeah. Please, guys, if you guys know exactly where it was invented, please let us know. But I tried it first time in Mumbai. Oh, you got you tried it first time. Yeah. Okay. So Belpuri. So as you can see, it's another incredible chat, right? And it's always gonna be crunchy. Mm -hmm. You got some fried like rice puff balls. You have the sev again. Sev is this guy. Okay. You know these little grains there, and you have this little crispy cracker, right? And then it's all mixed. And he says it's gonna be spicy. I love spice, so I can't wait. So this one again, just dive in, pull things up. Because in the bottom, that's where like get some more of the chutneys. And this one looks a little drier. The one I had, the Bapuri in Mumbai, they added a lot of yogurt, but that's a little different, right? Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. It didn't make it spicier. Mm -hmm. Love that crisp. Is it uh, rice we're having here? Or puff rice, yeah. right? Other things are just like fried cracker. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all rice flour though. Yeah. So good, so crunchy, right? It is. Very man. refreshing. It is. In the streets of Mumbai, super hot. You have this, you feel good. So this is a street food. You get it from like a cart? Street cart? cart? Yeah. yeah, not even a cart, dude. It's like three guys just making it out there in the street. It's like amazing. <laughs> I'm down. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's fascinating that snacks in India, it comes in like a bowl and you eat it like that. I mean, it's easier, right? Yeah. Sometimes, though, I've seen it even just like newspaper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Newspaper, you see your stuff from newspaper. No, because with snacks, I always think, you know, like uh, French fries or oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Know, potato chips, something you uh, while you're walking, mm -hmm. you know. But here, it's it's sort of it reminds me like a meal, but mm -hmm. you're saying it's a snack. I mean, it's a snack. Yeah. But it can be a meal, right? We eat both of these right now. We're full. Oh, okay. It's not that spicy, to be honest. Yeah. No, he was sweet and spicy, but it's uh, in all fairness, the spice level here is probably a three or two. How is the heat level compared to uh, India? This no. spot, yeah, way lower. Yeah. yeah, remember, Western palettes are very different. This is our special surprise for you guys. We have our chocolate chip naan and our parley G ice cream sandwiches. Oh man, I'm very, very excited. We're trying two things we've never tried before because they're unique to this place. Mm. Oh, so we have a naan with chocolate chips and sugar powder. Yeah. Look at this beauty. Wow. And over here we have, so the Parla G crackers, this is what they usually use. You know, basically you dip this into chai, right? Yeah. Usually you have it like that, like biscuits, you know, obviously British influence. Uh, but here what they did is they added ice cream inside, right? 
I guess a basically American basically. influence Indian dessert or British Indian British, British Indian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> mm. oh. oh. I love the cookie. It's literally a vanilla ice cream sandwich. It's, it's basically a stuffed little thing, right? Yeah. So good. Wow. Yeah. I, I thought when I saw it come out, I was like, is this a s'more? But obviously, there's no chocolate inside. Yeah. Just a vanilla crackers. I mean, that was amazing. I literally had a brain freeze. My teeth froze. What was that? My teeth, so cold. Oh, so yeah. cold. Wow. Let's jump on this guy. Yeah. Incredible. Non with chocolate chips. Never seen this before. I've My kids would love it. Oh, wow. I, I love chocolate and naan's what kind of like a bread. Naan so. is is one of the breads of northern India. Yeah. I mean, obviously, northern India is all breads. Southern India is all rice. All this, all breads usually go into tandoor oven, which is a clay oven, basically to yeah. get baked, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, this is fun. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> mm. Whoa. Stuffed chocolate chip. Wow. Guys, it works. It's just bread. It's like ready with chocolate and some sugar sugar powder. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. Mm. So I've had something similar to this in Italian restaurants where they put either Nutella on like a white pizza. Sometimes they put chocolate chip and add sugar, so it's very similar. I love it. Definitely a super decadent dessert. So these two are just like to end the meal, that's it. But I have a surprise for you. I really want you to try Jellybee. So we're gonna go right back next door. You're gonna try Jellybee, which is amazing. It is the Indian sweet. Can't wait to try it, man. So what if we put the entire thing in one sandwich? Check it out. You're gonna do that? Yeah. Why not? Mmm. <laughs> Great combo. So good. The naan's too good, guys. It's so good. So good. Going back next door for that jelly bee. It's my first time, can't wait. Is it super suey? I don't know. Super suey. <laughs> All right, so here we have the Kaser jalebi, which is a saffron coating, and then we have our regular jalebi. So Jason's gonna try jalebi for the first time. Which one is the original? I want the original. That one. Okay, this one? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah you can just take that piece. You don't have to get the whole okay. thing. Yeah. You know, just go ahead. I'll get a little piece here too. Mm. Yeah. Mm hmm Wow. Sugar syrup. It's crunchy and mm -hmm. super sweet at the same time. Super sweet. It's almost like a. You ever been to the, like the, the carnival or the fair? Yeah. yeah. You have a elephant ears. Has no. the same type of. <laughs> yeah, it's the sweetness is like gotcha, crazy. Gotcha. So we have the original, and then this is saffron, which is keser or keser, right? Keser. Just bring a piece, right? And these are like smaller ones. Sometimes they have them huge. Yeah. Like you know, huge ones. This is like little ones, right? Gotcha. For snacks. Oh, nice, man. It has more of a flavor. Um, yeah, yeah, because it's saffron. Saffron, that's what it is. Craziest thing of my life. I landed in Delhi in uh, January 2018. First place I ever went to in, in India. Landed in Delhi. Went straight into Chani Chok, which is the belly of the beast. It's the old town. And then I saw the guys making this. I had this. I was like, <laughs> where has it been my whole life, you know? I feel like it's good with chai, probably, mm -hmm. or coffee. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's extremely sweet, so yeah. obviously limited because yeah. you got a sugar rush, but yeah. I mean, Indians can eat this all day. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know if I could eat this all day. But, <laughs> uh, you know, it's kind of like a juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like pops in your mouth, right? Yeah. And then obviously a little like crispy, Crunch. yeah, crunchy, yeah, yeah. crispy. Uh, it's just dough that they do in this, you know, circular shape or cylinder shape, right? My man, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate man. it, dude. You guys were such good people. Loved it. Delicious food next door. Over here, you can buy all the sweets. I mean, they have infinite Indian sweets plus some puris, you know, sev. You got like endless stuff over here. Lots of Gujarati and Punjabi stuff. He's in New Jersey, yeah. okay. Oh, it's a town before getting to Edison. It's like 10 minutes away. Well, thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> yes, sir. You ready? Let's go, baby. Let's go. We got a 10 minute drive to Edison, let's go. First day that he tries real Indian food. Oh, so far so good, so delicious. Can't wait to try more. Wow, this is like India, man. I've never been to anything like this, but it's in the, the US.
India and America. Basically this whole strip, all you have is Indian businesses. You got jewelry stores. You have places to buy local uh, clothing. You also have snack spots, lots of restaurants. Like there are so many restaurants. You know, over here is, oh, that's the one I went to last time. So I visited this area about a month ago. I did that place right at Tabak. I also did the I South Indian restaurant at the very end. And right here we have Indian groceries. It's a huge Indian supermarket I went to last time. Ginormous. It's a massive supermarket. I think it's the biggest one in Edison. And then the next place we're gonna go to, I don't know, I heard about a place called Bombay Spice. So we might go there. There's also a lot of other places. So you have both sit down, you have quick snacks, and you have high end. Right. For a pan place, so pan. So it's like beetle leaf, it gives you a lot of energy. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon, and uh, we're excited. <laughs> Never had pawn, right? Nah, man. What's it taste like? Gives you wings. <laughs> <laughs> so right next to the Honest restaurant, we had the Pan House or Pawn House. And this guy, look at it. He has all the pans right here. Whole thing. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. I know, it's a mouthful, but you're going to feel a lot of energy. It's going to literally wake you up. This. All right, all right, let's do this. Look at this. Huge. Mm. Mm. So much, right? What is that? Like minty? It's juicy. Uh, so much flavor, man. Nutty. Yeah. Nice paste. Mm. Wow. I love it. Deep. It's just like mm, flavor. Oh man. And this is all in India, everywhere. Wow. It's a street food, right? Yeah, I mean, it's basically product cleanser. It's definitely refreshing. Mm -hmm. It gives you kind of like a burst of energy, and you're just like. Shh. First time I tried this, yeah. I was in Varanasi. I was dead, super tired. I had this. I woke up. Wow! Wow! I was like, Whoa! Wow! <laughs> it's amazing. A pan house in Edison, New Jersey. I asked them how much we owe for the pan. They said no way. So how much does it cost? Pan is two dollars. Two dollar. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so right next to the Pan House, we have an amazing restaurant called Honest. It's a huge restaurant. They're not open right now because of the timing, but next to them, they have a sugarcane. Guys, this is just like the streets of India. You got sugarcane right on the street. They add some ginger, some lemon, some lime, and they make it delicious. Literally the sugarcane right there. They put it into this machine, they extract sugarcane juice, and then we drink something super fresh and you get like lifted again, right? This is for the heat. Uh, it's so hot and it, you have to take this. My friend, two, here you go. Everything, no lemon ginger. Yes, yes, everything. So you can't just buy the sugarcane here. You have to go inside, pay for it, then come outside. It's actually $3.99 each. Very different from India. India is like 20 cents for a cup. Here it's four bucks, but it's all good. They add lemon, they add ginger, then they get the sugarcane, and they put it through this machine, it extracts it all, it comes all out, as you can see. Incredible, look at this. Look at this, dude. It's gonna be great. All right, guys, we are ready to try some sugarcane juice in Edison, New Jersey. I'm excited. It's amazing. And he actually added some masala on top, so a little spice, right? Mm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> right? One. Wow. wow. <laughs> <Yeah. I> mean, <laughs> so, lots of sugar, obviously, sugarcane yeah. juice. You have that incredible lemon in there, right? Then yeah. you have ginger and the masala, so a nice touch with that with some spice. It's fantastic. Super refreshing, guys. Super refreshing. Yeah. It has like a tang. It's it's really sweet, super refreshing, so good. Oh, so refreshing. <laughs> so this is just like India, well, sort of. I mean, you would see guys with like literally this cart, the entire thing, yeah. just in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. They have one of these extracting machines or they have another one they use by hand, right? Oh, what? And that's it, same oh. thing, same feeling. And again, this the reason for this is because the heat, this cools you down. Mm. It's lots of sugar, but obviously this is not processed. This is straight, straight from the natural. sugar cane, natural. Yeah. I love it. Get some food, right? Yeah, let's go. I'm hungry, man. He needs some masalas, he needs some naan, some tandoor. Let me get some food, guys. I'm so hungry. Gracias, gracias. Okay, Lo vemos. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so next up, we're going to Bombay Spice number two. It's 0.5 miles away, so roughly like five minutes, and there we're gonna have more delicious Indian street food, lots of snacks and chats. 
Tell me. Hey, my friend. How are you? Good, you? After a long, right? I know, we're ready, we're ready. So what do we have here? Kathy rolls, vadapav, samosa chat? Everything. Everything? Yeah. Front has a lot of stuff, right? So they have appetizers, they have Bombay chat station, so they have like samosa chat, Gorgopa obviously, Bombay explosion bell. I mean, I think we should definitely go with some chats, but they also have like a lot of masalas, right? So what do you, what do you recommend, my friend? We are famous for our chats, our kathi rolls are amazing. Really good. Let's get one kathi roll, uh -huh. one chat. He's never tried, you didn't try Pani Puri today, right? I get you. Okay. He has to try Pani Puri. <laughs> All right guys, here at Bombay Spice, we're starting off with three different appetizers. We have the Bombay Bell, which is basically Bell Puri, right? Then we have Kathy Roll that comes with chicken, and then obviously on the side they have like this nice chutney. And over here we have Pani Puri. So we got the Puri, and over here we have the Pani. So how does this work? Well, like this, right? So you're just gonna go in here and go, and that, Let's crack it right there. Not too much, right? And then you should stuff it, right? So usually it's potatoes and chickpeas. This one's a little different. I see some tomatoes, I see some peanuts. You see also sev, you know, they make it nice and just like more tropical in a way, right? And then we do this, right? So, ready? All right, right there, fill, fill to the rim, let's go. One, two, go. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Wow. Very crunchy. Mm. You get that burst of flavor from that. What? What is that? That's so that's bani. So that's that's basically masala water. Mm. Bani in Hindi is water. Mm -hmm. So it just makes with masalas. Wow. That's it. It sometimes. has like a tang to it. Exactly, and yeah. sometimes it's spicier too. Yeah, this is crispy and it has some of that chickpeas, is it? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure the chickpeas in here. Usually it's chickpeas and potatoes, right? And potato, okay. And then over here to the side, what do we have? Mmm, it smells like a tomato chutney or something. Maybe a sambar, actually. It's so good. Yeah, you're, you're destroying that guy. But don't worry, this is this is the fun part about it, right? So usually they'll do it on the street for you. Okay. Right there. Mm-hmm, filled, filled of pani puri. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. It's water. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Alright, so what's next? Kathy roll? So do you know what a Kathy roll is? No, it looks like a burrito. Uh, basically, it's like the Indian burrito, but it's actually invented in the city of Kolkata, Kolkata. in a place called Nizaram, mm -hmm. and Nizams. Yeah, and so I'm pretty sure I've been there, right? So it's usually a parada. Right, so that's the bread, the parata, and then they stuff it with something. Mm -hmm. Egg. This one has chicken, right? Yeah. So we gotta dip it into this, right? Gotcha. So it's a chutney. I think this is like a mint chutney, but it also has like, I think a tomato or some spice. Mm -hmm. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. More. Oh, so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so happy. Wow. It has like a spiciness to it. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm. And this sauce. Chutney. Chutney. So it's not the same as sauce? Indians don't get mad about that. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. This one is mixed. It's a mix, right? Right. This one's got to mm, drown it in this chutney, right? Like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this chutney. This one's really good, man. This one's amazing. So good. This is actually one of my favorite kathi rolls of all time. Mm. Mm. And you have to add this chutney, right? Keep it coming. Let's keep it going, right? It's getting hot, right? A little bit. I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's my boy here, Korean family. Anaseo. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's it's more like a glazy sauce, right? Yeah. So it has like a uh, sweetness mm -hmm. and a little bit of a kick to it. Mm. Kind of like that. I'm gonna say right now. Probably one of my favorite kathi rolls of all time. Wow. Of wow. all time, bro. I think it's also the chutney. The chutney really elevates it. <clears throat> the chutney is so unreal. Look at that. Mm. And next up, my friends, we have the Bombay Bell. Let's do this. Another super puffy chat. And dig in. Look how good that is, huh? Crisp puff balls. Rice puff balls, please. All right. Mmm. Mm hmm Wow. Mmm. <laughs> nice, wow. huh? This one's super tropical. 
Mmm. So good. I know, right? I love it. Mmm. It has like onions in it. Exactly. Right? It gives that the, like uh, freshness to it. And oh. tomatoes and cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. I don't want to overdo it because we have a lot of food coming. All right, my friends. So they surprise us with some, you know, Indian inspired mojitos. <laughs> All right. So cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm. It's almost like masala in here, right? I don't know what this is. It has a spice to it. Mm hmm. Has a spice, and obviously, there's Bacardi. Mm. Always Bacardi. That is mojito, right? From Miami. Basically, it was invented there. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next up, we have the goat curry and some naan. Oh wow, that was super refreshing, huh? Yeah. Nice and minty. Love this. Love mojito. Mm-hmm. And right, my friend, here you go. Goat curry. Beautiful, right? Wow. Mmm. Love it. So it you gotta good. throw this yeah. on top. And obviously for this one, we're gonna use our hands and we're gonna use the naan. Oh, okay. Smell that aroma? Yeah. It smells good, man. Amazing. Yeah. And right here we have the naan. So bring it up. Usually you're not supposed to use two hands. You're supposed to go like this, by the way. Okay. Like that. Like a true okay. Indian. You know? And then you go in here, and I would say first thing we do before we eat the actual, you know, the meat, go in and get some of the gravy to taste that, right? Okay. There's actually pieces of the meat there as well. You got a big piece, dude. Sorry. India, it's all about tiny pieces. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's all good. Sorry. No, you're good, you're good. You can, you can eat however you want, you know? Right. Cheers, bro. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. The gravy? Wow. Mm hmm is a British term. Masalas is the true definition of all these gravies, right? Sorry to discourage yeah. the biryani. Biryani, huh? Wow. So what biryani is this? Yeah. Beautiful. Which one is this? That's chicken biryani. Special for you. Chicken biryani? Yeah. Perfect. With the raita next to it? Yeah. Yeah, some people are telling me not to add raita to biryani, but you know what? You should. Yeah. Okay, so we have the chicken biryani here. So I have to pull some out for my friend. Oh, this is... Bomb, look at this. So you know what biryani is, right? Yeah, it's rice, right? Uh, so it's a mixed rice layer dish. Usually like three layers, right? So you have the meat, mm -hmm. you have the rice, and then you have spices. Mm -hmm. You know, we still haven't tried the actual goat, right? Okay. So I usually just go in here because of bones and pool, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So soft. Mm-hmm. So rich and uh, flavorful. Yeah. So for me, lamb and goat are my favorites, mm. mainly because they are more lean, mm -hmm. right? Way less fat, but I love the meat. It's yeah. like gamey, yeah. you know? Yeah. And just go in, you know, play with this. Okay. Don't play with your food. Eat correctly, guys. Yeah. But enjoy it. Cheers. Mm-hmm. It's gravy, huh? More gravy. More gravy. Oh, I have another piece of goat here if you want it. You know what? This is your intro to Indian cuisine. I want you to eat as much as you can. Thanks, man. And you know, this is something very special for me, this part of the day, showing people how to eat biryani the correct way. So how do you do that? Well, I washed my hands already. Same At this here. point, I'm just gonna clean it from the gravy. So this is what we do, right? So with your hands, okay. you, you can use the whole hand, you can use three fingers, you can use four fingers. You always use four because you use the thumb to push, right? Yeah. But you go in here and you start to break the meat. Go for the meat or the chicken, right? And you go in and you start to rip it apart. And try to separate from these, you know, from this gravy so it doesn't mix with this beautiful biryani. Because you gotta taste all the flavors of the biryani alone before you actually mix it with gravy. Yeah. And also the raita. Some people add the raita because it calms down heat. In Kerala, they always use raita, like everybody did. So you could be right or wrong with it. Uh -huh. it doesn't matter, dude. You're eating the food, you're enjoying it. It's hot, man. Yeah, it's hot. Uh -huh. It's hot. And then you start to do this, right? And you can pick it up. So David, I've seen you do the ball method. You gotta the show ball. me how to do the ball method. So the ball's very easy, right? Yeah. So, it's good that. Start doing this. And then, using all four, five fingers, right? Yeah. Not four, five. Okay, ready? Five. Yeah, and then you go in, come right here, and you go. Mmm. 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 Wow. Mmm. I love chicken biryani. Chicken biryani, so good. Usually, like, you put everything in there. Add it in, squeeze it together. You can use the hand and do the ball. Like oh, literally yes. that, like that. 
you could do that, right? If you want to. But I like doing it this way, keep my hand a little cleaner. No matter what, I'm starting to clean again, right? Mm -hmm. So this, ready? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love the fragrance. Wow. Right? Like the aroma? Yeah. I'm so happy, guys. Mm hmm. First time doing the hand method with David. Awesome. Mm. You know what? Add some right there. So, it's like a, you know, yogurt right here. Always yogurt. You don't have to mix it in. You could, though. So, I'll show you. But this is going to definitely change the t taste. The flavor profile of the biryani is gonna be way creamier now, right. but it's gonna be a lot easier to just get every grain like that, right? I like mix it all in, you know. Yeah. This is you don't want to leave any grain of rice, you know. The people are hungry in the world, you don't leave anything, right? Yeah. So again, mix it all like that, and again, it's a lot easier to do this. You pick it up just like that. Oh, I'm excited for this bite. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, wow, right? I enjoy it like that. It's nice and creamy. It's creamer. So much more flavor. So much more flavor. And it keeps everything together. Exactly. Yeah. It's just like a glue, right? Yeah, love it. And then after that, you can just mix everything and eat the gravy. That's probably the best rice I ever had. Probably, right? Yeah. Mmm. They have like peppercorn in it, right? Yeah. I've been getting like nice big chunks of peppercorn. <laughs> so good. Converting everybody to the Indian way. Mm. Thanks for showing me, David. No problem. You know what? I was off camera for a second living that year. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The gravy, right? Yeah. Let me get some of that. Wow, it's so unreal. Yeah. Is there any more rice? Oh, yeah, there's a ton. You want some more? Sure. Yeah, we're not leaving this, bro. I love this hand style of eating. Dude, this is the best. Yeah. My first time trying it, mm -hmm. but it, it feels like... Um, you get more of like a homey feel to it. When you do it like this, you don't get the, the steel taste. The steel taste yeah. changes the whole thing. Yeah. So why yeah. do that? You I know. know? Yeah. So it's better to do this, just go straight for a bite. All right, my friends, this is my last bite. I think we're gonna go to one more place for a sweet, but this is it for here. All right. You're gonna add on top. Can I do this? Animal. <laughs> yeah. Do people do this? Let me know. Mm. Mm. Wow, biryani, the king of dishes. You can mix all the flavors with the goat curry, the mm -hmm. raita, or like I did with the naan. That's it. Yeah. Is that normal? Dude, Yeah. you're supposed to eat. Yeah. If anybody tells you how to eat, yeah. tell them they're wrong. My man, thank you so much, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much for visiting Bombay Spice and the Sea Galaxy. It was a pleasure to have you. So this is the owner. This is his sister, which I met last time at Desi Galaxy. Hello. She did the pani puri for me, and she was the one that told me to come here, so I'm here because of you. Most welcome. I appreciate it. The food is amazing. Next time, if you're gonna visit this area, you have to come back again. Promise me that. Promise, yeah. promise. I think soon I'll have my own Indian restaurant here. I'm partnering with all you guys. <laughs> Dude, Bombay Spice, yeah, amazing, amazing. Oh my goodness, so oh, good. Too so good. good. Cool, man. We're dead. We're really full, but you know, we're going for one more thing. We have to have a sweet. We have to go to Sukaria, right? She said Sukaria, something like that? Woo. Let's go. Ah, so full. After a quick two minute drive, we're here at Sukudai, right? It's hard to say it. Amazing, so as soon as you walk in here, you get all the sweets right in front of you. So they have like, Rasgula, Gulab Jamun, they have, wow, it's like cookies, it's different sweets, right? And at the very back over there, I can see it, they're making jalebi. Let me ask you a question, do you have Gulab Jamun or Rasgula or Ras Malai? Uh, we have Gulab Jamun. You have Gulab Jamun? Okay, let me get two Gulab Jamun. So they have Gulab Jamun, so we're gonna get two of them. Look, look, right? Which one you want? Let's go with this one, it's different. It's almost like a finger, right? It's a little different, right? So gulab jamun is basically sugar and dough. And that's it. So what is gulab jamun? So it's like milk, sugar, dough, then deep fried and then dropped into sugar syrup. Always sugar syrup in India. And these are a little different. They're not the balls. They're like, we got like fingers, right? Okay, dude, ready? I do it right here. Mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Wow. The ultimate sweet. Super sweet. Mm-hmm. It's funny because I'm starting to get like a 
I love hate relationship with Gulaji Moon. Mm. I love it, <laughs> but the sweet kills me. Mm. It's overly sweet, but you know what? We had so much savory food today. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect ender, mm -hmm. perfect dessert. Cheers. Cheers. Bro, what a great day. Edison, New Jersey, love you. Thank you. We ate Indian food for 24 hours in Edison, New Jersey. Well, we started off in Jersey City, went to Sri Ganesh uh, Dosa House, right? Mm -hmm. Amazing spot, 17 years in business, right there on Journal Square. You have to go there, nine in the morning, opens really early. Delicious Southern Indian breakfast. Dosa's Ilivada. then from there we drive south and went to Chaupati, right? Yeah, Chaupati. Chaupati. Yeah. Amazing spot, we had Rajachori, Bell Puri. We had naan with chocolate chips. Uh, the cracker with the vanilla ice cream, mm -hmm. so good. With that naan and chocolate. Exactly. Oh he also tried Jollibee, and then from there we drove all the way down here. And Hippo is the owner of Indian Grocers, the biggest Indian supermarket in Edison, New Jersey. So Hippo, I'm excited. What do you guys do here? We sell literally anything you can get in India as in terms of whatever you want to cook or anything Indian kitchen related, we sell here. Literally, we've had people come in from India saying, oh, we don't get this much variety in India itself. So okay. it's actually a very, very unique place, uh, not just Edison, but in America, kind of. Awesome, so if you guys don't know about this area, it's one of the biggest Indian populations in the Western Hemisphere, literally this entire area of New Jersey. Lots of Indians, lots of Indian restaurants, Indian business owners, right? Yes. And here you guys have ghee, puris, I'm sure you guys have frozen section, also fruits. Yep. Everything, fruits, vegetables, We. Until the pandemic, we're getting fresh fruits from India as well, but awesome. uh, pandemic put an end to that for, for a little bit. Okay. But, but sweets, desserts, uh, we're starting fresh breads, a lot, a lot of cool stuff. Awesome, and how many lanes are there? How many rows? Uh, 14 technically, uh, but front and back 14, yeah. Awesome, okay, yeah. let's go inside, let's see what they got. Follow us. Jason, you ready? Yeah, let's go, man, I'm so excited. So Hippo, what do we have here? I mean, it's just like bell mix, just all like chat stuff, right? All chat stuff, all morning stuff. Like if you start the store, actually, we start off with tea because you start the morning with hot tea in India. So tea, a little bit of what we call nashto, which is anything you can eat with tea, like little trail mixes or, or, or spicy mixtures, sweet mixtures, stuff like that. So, so both sides, you can get stuff that you can eat for breakfast. And uh, not only that, but like even stuff like jaggery we have, which is uh, Indian version of sugar. It's a uh, more pure version of sugar. It's actually healthier, right? This is this is before they make the white sugar because that that goes yeah. through another process, right? This is healthier. Over here we have the same stuff, right? All these different snacks, and over here to the left we have different paste. You have coconut water. You have thumbs up, which is like Coca Cola, right? Almost the Indian version. You also have limka. Tried it when I was in D.C. And what are these? Is chutneys? Chutneys for your pails, pani puris. Uh, uh, spicy date chutneys, sweet tamarind chutneys, all that stuff. So what have you tried here? So I'm interested, is there like a Indian fruits and vegetables that you import? It's a little out of season now, we don't get that much stuff in the fall, more in the summer, but but we'll get stuff like jamuns, which is a, 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 it's like a traditional Indian berry. It's almost like a more tart uh, blackberry kind of thing. Mangoes, pomegranates from India, okra from India, a lot, a lot of different stuff. And everything else, we still get Indian versions, but just grown in, the Dominican or the uh, Nicaraguan region. Different things for the kitchen. Heavy use kitchen items, like if you look over here, we have like massive stock pots, which we'll use for those sambars or, or in Gujarat, like uh, dals and stuff. But we, actually, we have a lot of restaurant clients that get those from us as well. So restaurants, temples, so we stock a lot of that stuff for them. Uh, David, look, it has masala pomegranate. What? I've never had this. This is from uh, India? From India. Uh, People in India love masala spices, so even their sweet drinks will spice it up. I've never tried that. I love the pomegranate, but with masala, yeah. it's a different thing. Wow. I might buy this on the way out, <laughs> for sure. And we have curry leaves. Yes, you have to have curry leaves, especially if you're making Kerala cuisine. Curry leaves is a big staple. Coriander leaves is a huge staple. Onions, garlic, potatoes, massive. So where to next? So next we're gonna do uh, the, one of the biggest ingredients in India, rice. I've been doing this for 20 years of uh, selling Indian groceries. Uh, 20 years ago, you got like four different types of rice in an Indian supermarket, which was Basmati, Jasmine rice, uh, Swanamusri rice, and maybe, maybe Idli rice. Now you can find maybe 20 different varieties of rice. Now we probably have actually upwards of 30 varieties of rice. So there's so many different rices. Look at this, you can literally just keep walking through here. It doesn't stop. 
So rice, rice, rice. We have also here lentils on this side or it's just, all rice. just rice? All rice. It's all rice. Have you seen this much rice in your life? My goodness, this is like rice heaven. Like how many are there? 39 different varieties and that's just not different brands, just different types of rice. Like 12 or so different brands of rice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so a lot of rice. It, Indians love rice. What is this aisle? What do you have in here? So over here, uh, if you're eating a chapati or a naan, we have flours to make chapatis, naans, paratas. And if you want healthier versions, we have uh, multigrain flours, uh, gluten-free flours. Obviously, it's not as extensive as the rice section, right? But still, lots of different flours. The next one we can do uh, more Indian uh, junk food, I like to call it. Uh, snacks and namkeens. Okay. Literally, this is from all across India. This is specifically from like the Andhra region. But if you look on the other side, there's more from Punjab and Gujarat. Uh, and what's the difference? Because they're all like chat mixes, right? Basically, yeah. uh, quick snacks. Uh, th again, th guys, this is a little bit like junk food, right? You yeah. shouldn't be eating this too often, but in Hindi, you can eat it every day. We do have healthier versions. But oh. the difference is these are spicy battered peanuts or a muruk, which is again, fried batter. Uh, and even there, we have different flavors. So they can have a ginger one, a garlic one. I guess then, what's your favorite of all these? Because I like the banana chips. Yeah. It's actually one of my favorite things uh, that I had in Kerala, having these, like in Munar, Tekadi area. And obviously the sev, sev in every single chat. Right, masala chana dal, and then all these are like little bites, right? For me, uh, if we go at the end of the aisle, there's the, there's one called uh, chakri or muruku. That's my favorite. Muruku. Muruku, yeah. Deep fried like uh, spicy batter. It's almost like a chip. It is like like this one. What's cool is this one's actually locally made uh, uh, in Edison oh. actually. But if you guys drink uh, any of these, would they go great with like a cold beer, basically. Yeah, I mean, I'll do a samosa with a beer, dude. Anything fried with a beer. The next aisle, aisle three, is all about the cookies. All about the sweets, right? So what do we have here? Because I just see non-stop biscuits. Biscuits and sugar, that's all this uh, side is. Uh, and if you look on this side, we have more breakfast uh, pastries, kind of. Like kakras, kharis, which is all baked stuff. Uh, cakes, uh, cake rusks. A lot of sugars, that's what India is about, right? Sugar, dairy, sweets. Sugar, dairy, sweets, and oil. We, we, we like to fry a lot of stuff. Typically we're vegetarian so we can do the frying. This one it's the most selling uh, cookie in India. Not only in India though, all across the world. Now they're in Brazil, Mexico. So David we saw a lot of food so far, a lot of junk food. This is more of the healthier stuff that we have in India. Uh, dals, lentils. This is a good like protein replacement for us. We use dals a lot. Like how many different dals do you have? Uh, uh, depending on the variety, but yeah, around like, like 20 different types of lentils. Have you tried a dal? No, a dal, what, what is that? How does that taste like? Well, I mean, dal's just lentil, yeah. right? So lentil, but you know, they do it very differently. And usually you always have dal part of every meal. Okay. It's almost, almost every meal, especially yeah. north, right? If it's not part of like, like a dal like dry dish, it'll, they'll make like a soup out of it or soup. or something like a sambar or, or, or something of that sort. What you had this morning, you had dosa and that's lentil batter. So they already they use the doll to make the batter. Gotcha, gotcha. That's why it's a little different from like a you know American pancake, right? There's so many different flours. Like, what do you guys do with this? Is this for so, different foods? Yeah, different flours. Uh, you can make like a chapati or a flatbread out of them, or something like wheat ladoo flour. You can add jaggery, uh, a little bit of sugar, uh, milk, and make like a dessert out of it as well. So we got lentil. We have flour. I mean, this lane doesn't end. Wow, look at this. So you have these red lentils, beautiful bag. Wow. Right? What does it taste like? What does it taste like? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna see today. I know a lot of people that haven't even tried Indian food and they're 40 years old, you know? Well, I tried like three dishes. They're all good though, but I wanna try more today. After lentils, we're gonna go into spices real quick. India is a land of spices. Good we thing is we also have a lot of ready-made spices too. So if you're trying to cook and you don't know much about Indian cuisine, ready-made packets, all you have to do is add your vegetables, oils, and stuff like that. Like this, right? Like palak paneer. So this is basically, it tells you exactly how to make, that's it. Exactly, yeah. Right? You just need paneer, uh, maybe a little bit of oil, uh, boiled spinach, and a blender. Perfect, and if you guys don't know the difference, palak paneer is straight spinach, sag paneer is with curry leaves, right? Oh, uh, with the uh, mustard leaves. greens, with mustard greens, yeah. Mustard greens, exactly, sorry. Very cool, David knows his stuff. I'm learning, bro, I'm learning, yeah. day by day. In the kitchen, you're gonna use a mixture of like cinnamon powder, uh, cardamom powder, chili powder, turmeric powder, and make your own mixture for like a, let's say chicken tikka masala. I'm not gonna know how to do that for myself, so, for people like that, we're gonna have like our own, like let's say chole masala to make our own chole. So I don't have to know how much turmeric powder goes into there or how much cardamom powder, how much coriander powder goes into there. 
cardamom, teal sesame, okay. Didn't even know that, okay, awesome. Uh, so we have uh, black pepper. This is also referred to in Kerala as black gold. Really? Yeah, because this, is, this was gold at one point, you know? We have mustard seeds, always part of Indian cuisine. More mustard seeds, some of them are black, some of them are brown. I guess that's like cooking or? Yeah. yeah? Uh, uh, and they're all, they can all be big or small. Like in the north, they'll use larger mustard seeds, but the smaller ones are more pungent. So they'll use that in the southern cooking. Okay, awesome. Next style, we can go two hours over. We're gonna see a lot of the more uh, baking necessities like ghee, oils, uh, uh, the big ones, jaggery, which we use in everything. You're learning, huh? Yeah, so much to learn. If you ever had achar at an Indian restaurant, all Indian achars, uh, garlic paste, uh, ginger pastes, uh, which we'll also use in cooking. But right behind David over here, we have oils and ghee galore. Uh, whether it's made from buffalo milk, uh, cow milk, uh, I believe we have one from camel milk. Uh, wow. Lots of different varieties for that. And even with the cow uh, ghees, there's different types of cows that they use the geese from, or where the milk comes from. For example, we have a special one called the Gear uh, Cow Ghee, which is a specific uh, cow in India. It, they're typically more brighter red cows, but but even stuff like that we'll have, which is a very, very rare ghee. I love the music. You really feel like you're in a different world right now, right? <laughs> exactly, yep. It's amazing, amazing. Next, we have the frozen section, which, again, a lot of the stuff we used before was for cooking. Uh, if you can't do that, if you're like my wife, kind of you can use all this stuff where it's just heat and eat heat and eat heat and eat yeah so yeah this is all paratas over here like ton of paratas over here samosas right and you have coriander chutney pani puri concentration so that's basically the pani right pani puri one, yep. mm -hmm. so it's always like spiced water right and here we are like potato cheese bites kachoris tons of little kachoris jalapeno pepper so this is all frozen just really quick heat it up you know, pan, microwave, you know, really easy, right? So what's your favorite? My favorite, uh, it's what you drink with beer, samosas. <laughs> uh, we have a couple of doors down, but you can't beat samosas. Yeah? So, yeah. yeah. You never tried it? I had samosas once uh, with mint chutney, but that's all I remember. Today you'll have it with tamarind chutney. Okay. All right, sweeter. I like the sweetness, dude. Yeah. To be honest, I love the coconut chutney. That's like, really? for me, the best. Yeah. But that's yeah. always with like dosa, idli vada. It's more southern, right? And then over here, we also have kitchenware, right? So stuff to make dosas. It's more like curved pan. Uh, it's perfect for cooking a chapati or a paratha, just because it gets to the whole tortilla, kind of. They had uh, biryani and mutton paneer. I've never had the mutton paneer. This looks pretty good, though. Yeah, so it's mutter, not mutton. Mutter. Mutter, mutter. Mutter, yeah. So mutton is lamb, goat, right? Yeah. Lamb. Something like that, okay. And then over here, we have sambar as well. So this is all frozen, so if you want to just get something really quick, take it home, eat it on the go, you know, it's right here. So the one we just saw was from uh, Halli Rams, which is actually a famous, famous brand in India. Uh, they may be like like the, like, like like an Indian version of McDonald's where they have a lot of cafes all across, specifically the, the Delhi region. Actually started off as a snack, pro, a snack maker, uh, which was in our junk food aisle, uh, all the snacks and namkeens. They were the first ones, and from that they've diversified and they actually make amazing quality frozen foods now too. Okay, so we're done with the frozen section, and now we're going to the front where you check out. And we have, wow, what is this, dude? You have like all this religious stuff, huh? Uh, whether you're Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, and we have a lot of stuff to celebrate those religions as well. Whether it's Agrabatis or, or, or different ceremonial powders. So over there on the wall we have all the religious items and over here we have the kulfi, so the ice cream, right? You have a huge variety, delicious ice creams. We have more of these quick snacks, right? So if you like that stuff, get some. Look at this, he's good, masala munch. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is like the Indian ketchup. Uh, we'll use it for everything from like noodles to samosas, french fries. Uh, but it's it's very uh, it's not, it doesn't taste like American ketchup. It's very like the name says hot and sweet It's very spicy and sweet at the same time. So it's like a very very unique flavor that you only get in India for that Josh right. you ready? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. My man Let's eat Oh, look who it is hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Hey, The man the legend. How are you doing? This is Ankush my, my future restaurant partner hey, right hey, here. <laughs> Today we're doing a variety of dhaba dishes. So we're doing chole bhature. We're doing some uh, starters at jari mushroom uh, Kalmi kebab some kebabs for you and we also have uh, soya chop which is soya chunks marinated in a malai filling and uh, mango chicken and alu paranta 
So we got a nice variety for you. This is breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready too. I'm ready. This is going to be awesome. Chefs, morning. How you guys doing? Morning. All right, we're in the kitchen. We're going to see how they make some of these dishes. Look at this. We have chicken. I mean, what a mix here. We got like yogurt, masala, a chicken kebab. So you're going to put all these on skewers and strain tandoor, right? So Nisha, let me ask you, what's your favorite? Everything. Everything. I could go on eating everything. It's like finger licking good. I gotta try the mushrooms. I've never had the mushroom dish actually, so I'm excited to try that one. All right, so he put the soya chopped chunks in the tandoor. That's the malai sauce for the soya chop. So he's gonna, after he's done, he's gonna put the malai sauce on top of it. So it'll be a creamy soya chop. And then also he's working on a mango chicken and a korigasi, which is a coconut based chicken gravy. And this is the first spot. <laughs> Nisha, what do you think? Delicious. Everything looks so good. Chef here doesn't stop. He's just taking non stop incredible curry. We have some naan. Over here, look at this the list. So we have chole batole, we have soya chop. I mean, listen to the hand. I think it's like a 10 dishes, right? Something like that. Josh. Yes. You like spicy? Love spicy food. Yes. Her, her spice tolerance is not as, as high as mine. But Come I on, Paul. We have to food. eat good together. <laughs> so, Dave, we have chole bature, which is a chole with a puffed uh, bread uh, that's fried. In addition to that, we have alu paranta. We have uh, kurchan pao, which is chicken minced with pao bread. We have achari mushrooms, soya chop malai, and kalmi kebab, and then we have two curries. So we're gonna start off obviously with chole batore, yep. right? Mm -hmm. So we're each gonna get one of these. Mm -hmm. Wow, do we even so need soft. a full one, right? <laughs> <laughs> so good. So I actually had this on the streets of Delhi, and this is the breakfast in North India, right? So you have chole, chickpeas, with this, the batura. This is not a puri. It's, it's a batura. It's a batura, mm -hmm. right? And then people call it different, like chana batura. I mean, chole they have batura, different names yeah. depending on the state, right? Yeah. And how do we do it? So we break a piece. Okay. And just dunk it. And just dunk it, huh? the whole thing. Make sure you get the chole. Mm -hmm, that little gravy, curry. right? Mm -hmm. The curry. Cheers. <laughs> Mmm. So soft. So soft. Light. Mm -hmm. Not spicy. Mm -mm. Mm, a little bit. Okay. Something, right? So the batuta is a little different, right, in terms of a puri or a flatbread, right? It's a little doughier. Mm -hmm. Not so crispy, right? No. It, the mixture is different. Okay. And this is wheat flour, I'm guessing. It's all purpose flour. All purpose flour. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how baturas are made. That's how they're made. Definitely will fill you up, right? Yep. If you have the whole thing, I mean, this is a simple breakfast. Yeah. It's very humbling, especially doing it on the streets of Delhi. You yes. know, just mm -hmm. this, you know, sometimes they'll add just a little more ghee. Yes. You know, or butter. Yep. But for us, it's simple, right? Mmm. But delicious. Shouldn't finish this whole thing, but <laughs> today I have to. Mmm. I love the chickpeas. I'm, I'm a huge fan of chickpeas. Yep. And I love how the bature and the chickpeas literally bind together mm -hmm. like perfectly, right? Yep. Let's lay low with this. Yep. What should we get next? The paratha. The paratha. Mm -hmm. With the yogurt. With the yogurt. Anisha, how do we do this? Okay, so this one you take a piece of bread mm -hmm. and you take a little bit of yogurt. Not a too little much. bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it's it. thick, huh? It's yep. like real yogurt. Tear yeah. a piece. All right. Oh, I and love this. It's stuffed. Just dip it. Oh. It's gonna be nice and creamy, right? Yep. Mmm. Mm. I love stuffed naans. Yep. This is paratha. Mm hmm. Right? So a little paratha. different. Mm hmm. So it's, it's always confusing for me. Paratha, naan, roti, I know the difference, right? Naan is more fluffy. Okay. It's made in a tandoor. This, you just roll it out. Oh, so that's the difference? Yes. Am I right? Paratha yes. has layers, yeah. and uh, naan will be like the all-purpose flour that you were talking about with milk and eggs whereas this this won't have any eggs or milk this will be wheat and then they'll stuff it with potatoes and onions you can do it on the grill or the tandoor but our version is the tandoor version you know the chili you know the alum you also have like a masala right yep there's cilantro mm -hmm. onions maybe i shouldn't finish it but it's so <laughs> it's good. good why not yep mm. where is everybody from so a big mix? Big mix. Okay. A lot of South Indians, North Indians. It's incredible how many Indians are just in Jersey. Yep. Like oh, Jer yeah. Jersey's like Edison, Jersey City, mm -hmm. here, just like all these pockets, right? True. Even New York, you'd be surprised. Anywhere you go, it's just 
I know, I know. But Manhattan has over a hundred Indian restaurants, which is wow. mind blowing. And my friend here owns most of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's try the sweet lassi. Okay. Lassi, not lassi. Cheers, not lassi, lassi. Lassi. Mm. Mm. This would taste even more better after the spiciest of food. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what's spicy here? I know we have some pickles right there. I'll add some spice if it's not spicy enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this, we're gonna open the bread and we're gonna put the kima inside, right? Or we could just dunk it. Or just dunk it? Either. Either one. This is more of like a dry scramble. Like with vada pav, you get the creamy thing, so you can dunk it. So this, maybe we tear a piece. Mmm. This is so good. You have to try it. Mm -hmm. Super fluffy buns. Or you beautiful. can make a sandwich too. Oh, you could, right? Mm -hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll make a sandwich. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just fill it up, right? Yep. Just like this. Garlic. Boom. Yep. Look at that. It's almost like a little, what's it called? Uh, slider. It's a little slider, yeah. I should have made a sandwich. Mmm. Okay. Love the bun. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Buttery. Super buttery. Mm-hmm. But it has to be, right? That's the flavor. That's the flavor. Mm -hmm. So it's super fluffy in the middle. On the outside, a little crispy because it was on the pan, right? And I love the chicken kima. So it, it reminds me of like scrambled eggs, yep. but obviously it's chicken, right? Yep. Just mm. the texture. Mm hmm It's amazing. This is something you can get like literally on the go. Mm-hmm. Right? And there's yep. another one called like the belly, right? Or something like that. The belly? The belly. Oh, the, the belly, belly yes. The belly. The belly. <laughs> it's very similar, but mm -hmm. it's something like more sweet inside, yep, yep. right? There's like sauces and stuff that you pour inside, yeah. Mm-hmm. Love the chicken korma. You know what? No one's watching, right? No judgments here. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I can straight up eat this for breakfast, just like that. Mm -hmm. No bread, but yep. obviously the bread enhances the flavor here. Yep. Oh, too much, right? <laughs> you gotta be careful with the bread. It's, it's like, it's really filling, it's fluffy, and you're gonna get more and more, right? Yep. Nans, paratas, rotis. Yep. Mm-hmm. All of the good stuff. Mm. Love this. I remember that we got this the last time we were here. The the chicken kima. Mm -hmm. Real good stuff. So we're gonna jump on to the tandoori items next, right? Chicken wings tandoor, mushroom tandoor, and soya soybean. Soybean chop or soy chop. Malai soybean. Malai soybean. I love malai kofta. Yes. It's one of my favorite things ever, which are like dumplings and that creamy sauce. The sauce yeah. is what makes it, right? Yes. And I think it's gonna happen here. So we should yeah. probably do that one first. Okay. Look at that. Massive. Mm. 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 It's good. It's incredible. Mm. Creamy. Yep. Super soft. This is malai. No, the malai. So what's malai? It's basically cream, right? Cream. So I shouldn't eat the whole thing, but it's that good. Yeah, I have to. I've never had that dish before. It's mind blowing. Me neither. First wow. time. Mm -hmm. And then we got mushrooms, mm -hmm. right? So this one has like a marination, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, and cheers. Mmm. Mm. What I love about all this is that it's smoky, mm -hmm. a little charred. One of the things with the wings is that it's very hard to come by. Not every Indian restaurant does this. Right. You know? So, another delicious tandoori item. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mmm. -hmm. Chari. Exactly. Chari, smoky. Mm -hmm. It's just the moisture yep. you get from that clay oven. Yep. Wow. I don't think any other cuisine in the world has to endure. Obviously, everywhere around the Indian subcontinent, right? Mm -hmm. That's, That's it. That's true, yep. She's like, no more food, David. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? So we have the mango chicken mm -hmm. and the? Korigasi. Korigasi. Yeah. We should do the korigasi because, you know, let's coconut, Kerala. Yes, let's try that. Mmm. Mmm. Creamy. Creamy. You can taste the coconut right away. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy. Mm -mm. Nice and light, right? Yes. And what I mean by light is that it's not too rich. You no. Know? Sometimes it's you have this explosion of like spices. Oh yeah. And you're like, whoa, what mm -hmm. is this? But that one's not very easy. Yeah, especially for the Western palates. Yes. You know, people aren't used to it, right? <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and I love the gravy. Mm -hmm. Plus, it has like these big like chunks of uh, ginger, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Everything with ginger is delicious. Yes. But everything with masala. Is even better, right? Yes. <laughs> I think this one is my favorite though. Mm -hmm. Not the mango chicken, the other one. The korigasi. The korigasi, yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing I loved about my time in Kerala was just having everything with coconut. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. With fish curry and coconut? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's it for our feast here. But you know what? I'm not gonna finish because 
I really like this one. I know. <laughs> this is good. You want some more? Just the gravy. Just the gravy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the gravy is the ultimate addiction, right? Because I have a lot of chicken meat too. And that's the best thing about like Indian cuisine is just the gravies, you know? They don't stop. Very flavorful, yep. Very flavorful mm -hmm. and you always have something different. Obviously you have the standard curries that yes. you know the British have done. Yes. But then you have all these other ones where it's just like mixing masalas and mm -hmm. just like changing food profile like crazy, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So yummy. Wow. So what was your favorite of everything? The chicken kima. Mm -hmm. This coconut curry for sure. This one I for mean, sure. Everything is good but yeah, but yeah. some of them are just like standouts, right? Mm -hmm. Just gotta do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah. My man. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. Yeah. We'll see you at the next spot. Yeah. All right, let's go. So we're going to Jashan by Daba, Ankush's second restaurant just down the road from here. It's uh, much more casual, pretty fancier compared to Daba uh, Express right here. So, but it's going to be good. More Indian food. Persephone. Oh man, I am full. It's a good start. <laughs> Here there's a bunch of supermarkets like the Light Big Bazaar. They also have Briyani Pot. So lots of Indian restaurants, obviously huge Indian population. And this is what Jersey feels like, right? So more like suburbs, True, right? Though it's so close to the city, but you have that suburb feeling. And like, as you said, the Indian population here. Right, so big surprise, there's an Indian supermarket here that's huge. This is the largest supermarket in Persephone, Big Bazaar, Delight Big Bazaar. We're gonna just burn off some calories here, make some room for lunch. Here you're gonna find all your, you know, typical Indian spices. They got kulpi for sure. Yes, snacks. Snacks. So you remember the chicken kima pav that we had? Mm -hmm. This is the pav. It's Kashmiri, I think, with butter and good to go. You know, this is a big thing in India. They do a lot of different pops, right? Yes. Uh, they put vada inside, so like they put potato vada. fritter, right? Yep. Um, they also put it with some tomato paste. I've yes. seen it done with a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Always this fluffy bread, right? Mm -hmm. I love this bread. You can also dip this into chai. Yep. It's really oh, good, yeah. right? Yep. But here in front of us, we have forever fruits and vegetables. So a lot of this stuff comes directly from India, right? Mostly from India, some from Mexico. David, look, an Indian cucumber. I've never had this before, but it says Indian cucumber. Your favorite? <laughs> it's <like> peppers for days. <laughs> By the way, guys, this is actually turmeric, not ginger. Here. Oh, amazing. Yeah, so it's yellow halli, right? You want that. Hello. Oh, just in the morning. No way. Pizza one. No way. Pizza. Thank you. Thank you so much. I it's was amazing. just telling my husband. I wish I see him. <laughs> and I'm here, right? Yep. It's, it's part of God's plan. So Nisha, what do you think? My favorite? Your favorite. You want to take a bite? You take a bite. Nope. So. <laughs> I've got a little one. Let me see a tiny one. This one. Look. I'll eat the whole thing already. Uh oh. Spicy? Oh. Yeah. That's crazy. Crazy hot. <laughs> Maybe I should have done that. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now this, these are the regular stuff. Dill, spring onions. We have palak. You like palak. You mm -hmm. had the sog palak um, discussion recently, I remember. Mm -hmm. So that's spinach right here. My man, how you doing? I was watching a video this morning. No way. It's amazing. My wife, my wife was like, let's go to New York to meet David and you know. <laughs> And now I'm here, now I'm here. Thank you, thank you. But this is a syrup. It's, I think, rose syrup. Yes, this is like a rose syrup. If you've had faluda, this is what they put in it, in a rose faluda. And sometimes, as a kid, I used to put this in milk and drink it. Here we have all the rice. We have basmati rice, which is for biryanis and things like that. They have different kinds of rice here. So they have sona masuri, which is kind of like a tiny rice. Um, I usually cook with basmati rice, but Everyone has different preferences. Each day is different yes. because they produce different rices I or... So with flavor and texture, there's a big difference. You have parboiled rice and... I don't know, there's like different kinds of rice. So this is idli rice. You make idli with this rice. You soak it, you grind it, you get the batter. Mm -hmm. I think they put yeast, yeast or something. Okay, but it's not basmati at no. all. No. So it's just idli, idli rice. rice. I didn't know that. I thought it was like reducing any rice to make idli. So that's steam rice cakes. Yes. Wow, and then right here? Different kind of rice, it's kind of small, same like pony rice. 
I think I need to find like a lusty here because oh, <laughs> the chili is hitting me hard right now. Oh, no. no, no, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> These are all snacks. You get like flavored snack, plain snacks, and things like that. And then you have drinks right there. So, do you know mixture? Mm -hmm. You get some in there, but here they have like spicy mixture. So we have non-stop snacks here. Delights, lots of crunch. These are delicious. These are usually go with chats, right? Chats, chais, anything. Anything. Yeah. Behind us, we have all these. These are healthy drinks. You know what Corella is? No. Bitter guard. Tastes, it looks like this. David, do you still want more lassi? They have like different flavors here. I need one right now. Let's ch choose whichever one you want. Sweet lassi. No, mango lassi. Here. Got a shake. I'm still dying from that chili and it's the best thing to cool it down, right? Always dairy, milk. Oh, it's so refreshing. It feels like pure. Yeah. Like the pulp, you know? Yeah. The mango. Heaven. Let's see. Hey, this is something very unique. It's called badam milk, which is almond milk, but with flavors. So this is, I think, saffron. Then you have cardamom, and you have rose. I love rose. I would take that one. But you said it's like some sugar in it, right? Yeah. You can make it at nice. home. So a rose drink with almond. Pretty good. This is what makes Indian food very delicious. They see ghee. Clarified butter is what makes Indian food so good. It's a different world from regular butter. This reminds me more of like uh, what you would use in Indo-Chinese dishes, right? Yes. So it's like a, almost like a sweet chili paste, yes. right? When I was young and I had stomach ache, this is what my mom would give me. It's kind of like Pepto-Bismol, but Indian style. So as you walk your way through the supermarket, there's so many different aisles. I think it's like eight different aisles, A, M, B. And over here we have kitchenware. Tali, this is what most Indians eat. And they put, so you put your curries here, your rice or chapati here. So here we have everything for yep. your house, right? Also restaurants come here, I'm sure, and buy as well. So they have the cups, right? So stainless steel cups, the same thing for how they serve, you know, the, the curries. Well, not this one, but like those right there, right? We have clay pots, we have pans, we have jugs for water. Most things here are stainless steel, right? Yes. Basically. Some of these pans are to make dosas, some of them make uh, chapatis and rotis, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So very different uses, right? But yep. always to make food, everything yes. on this aisle. Wow. There you go. You want to fry up some stuff? That's what you need. This is what you use when you're frying up uh, anything in, in, in oil, in hot oil. So you're going to use this to take out pakoras, jalebis, uh, bhajis. That's what you need. There's more of these in India than people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. It's right. heavy, it's heavy. Yeah. Weapon or food? Yes. <laughs> so this is what tamarind looks like, but this is just the pulp. So in case you guys don't know, tamarind is a fruit. You can open up the, this little pocket, right? It's almost this like the, the green beans, right? Similar. Kind of look, yeah. Like and a huge edamame. Exactly. Yeah. And it's a little uh, spongy, right? It's like, like mush. Yeah. Yeah, like a it has a little bit of flesh on the outside, yes. so you can yes. suck on it, right? Yep. Beautiful. So they also, also sell tamarind and date chutney. So this is my favorite besides coconut chutney. I'm all about the tamarind chutney. Yes. Sweet. Super when I sweet. make pani puris home, I use this sauce. This one? This, for the sweet one. Not sweet sauce, sauce, chutney, chutney. Sweet chutney, yes. <laughs> And next up, we're in the spice aisle. Here is where all the magic happens, right? This is how they make all the masalas. So what is like the standard or the one that you use the most probably in cooking? Obviously the girl masala. We have coriander powder. And then of course, some people use whole jeera, which is cumin. These are like the basic um, spices you temper first. And then when you mix the onions and the tomatoes, you use the powdered ones. You can use cumin, coriander, depending on what kind of dish you make, and of course, chili powder. Because you're from Kerala, do you know the name of this one? Yes, these are pepper, black cold, cold black peppers. Well, also black gold. Black gold? In, in Kerala, they, they, call, they call it black gold because during spice trade, this was gold. Yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good, now you know. <laughs> you got whole spices, you got powders, you got ready-made, like this. You just dunk it, less work in everything that you need over here. David, the owner over there has kachoris. So yeah, so these kachoris are like big, fluffy. It almost looks like a big samosa or an empanada, right? Yeah. And right here we have my favorite snack of all time, the pani puris. Look at this, so the light pani puri, 250 grams. So I don't know how much that is, but probably like 100 in here. 
Look at this, just perfect. Obviously you buy this, but then you have, still have to make the filling, which is chickpeas, uh, potatoes, maybe some chilies, onions, and then make the pani rice, so the masala water. Yeah. Is it your favorite? It is my all-time favorite. No add, way. A, add a little yogurt, and then it's dahi puri. So delicious. The only problem with dahi puri is that it's extremely filling in comparison, right? Yes. Yeah. On eat a million of just pani puri by itself. But here's a trick. When I make my own pani puri, make your own water. Don't use the one that's in there. Not good. Not good. It's literally a bazaar within a supermarket. So here you have everything, right? You have Bengals, uh, necklaces, all this. Is there sadis in here or just like regular gowns? This is regular dresses and inside here... Uh, they have lehenga choli for lehenga garbas. Choli. Oh yeah, for and several occasions. Yeah. Wow. Let me see. Yes. So if you're arriving in New Jersey from India and you didn't bring your clothing, don't worry, they got you here. I always buy my daughter's bangles. They love them. Ten, ten dollars, this. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Too nice. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I got two, plus you gave me one for free because I'm too good looking. Oh. <laughs> you like that, right? Yes, I like that. Okay, we did it. We saw the bazaar, supermarket. Yes. What a great spot. You know, everything in here is Indian. Well, like 99%, right? Yes, majority of it. Okay, and where are we going next? Jashin by Daba for lunch. Big spread. You have the appetite? At this point, I do. I'm hungry, but you know what? That chili is affecting me. Let's go. <laughs> Let's Eat some go. lunch. My man. Good seeing you. Good seeing you. It was a great too. half a day. Catch up with you later. Thank you. Are you hungry, Josh? Yes, I'm ready to eat. Let's go. After a five minute drive, we're here at Jashun, part of Daba, Ankush. More North Indian, right? I yeah. think so. I think it's pretty much about the same cuisine, mm -hmm. but with a little variation. Let's find out. This guy, he doesn't stop. Oh, what is this, a party? It's our head chef. We're ready to go in the kitchen, get started on these dishes. Wow, massive kitchen, huh? Hey guys, how you doing? Chefs, so, so how you guys doing? Everything good? Bam, bam. I'll admit you. I know, I know. <laughs> so that's uh, Agbari paneer, stuffed paneer cubes with raisins and uh, cashews in, in the middle. I don't know what spice hit me, but <laughs> I can't stop coughing. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's how spicy that is? Uh, it's like a three medium plus. Medium plus? Yeah. I think I'll be good. But it could be medium plus Indian style. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken tender, no. chili paste. There's something hot in there. Yeah. <laughs> <Chili paste. laughs> That's what you <laughs> 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 No, the thing's on fire. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you do that, it gets stuck to your hand. Yeah, they're gonna be your skin yeah. melts. They're gonna put the cover. Yeah. <laughs> Salt Bay of India right here. Yeah. <laughs> but what you put there? Coriander. That's what coriander. Yeah, what coriander. Put, yeah. That bunch of spices. Yeah. I mean, this is gonna be some spicy chicken, right? Yeah. So it was in tandoor, then it went on grill. Now it's here. Yeah. Not in tandoor. That's the grill and over here. And so he gave us a little piece for us to taste. Let's do it. Let's do it. Chapata chicken. Oh, cheers, ah, guys. Ah. Ah, right away. Fast, fast, fast. Chapata. Chapata. Oh. Mm. Good. Mm. Good. Good. Not too spicy. Not at all. Not it's right. It's charred really well. Yeah, yeah. We have a Purani Delhi butter chicken, which is a traditional Indian uh, Indian Delhi bone-in butter chicken. Then we have Sham Savera, which is a creamy sauce with goftas made out of palak, spinach, uh, stuffed with raisins. Then we have paneer labadar, which is a creamy paneer dish. A little bit different from your traditional maknis or tikka masala. A uh, little bit more on the sweeter side. And what I love is that all these dishes I've never tried before. Yeah, these are really new to me too. I don't think I've tried any of these. Yep, can't wait. Incredible. That's the best part about Indian cuisine, right? Yeah. So many dishes. Yep, yes. variety. It's spicy. It's I can handle everything. Gonna, okay. We can handle it. We can handle it. I don't know about her. <laughs> the spice is more than mine. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I already had a huge chili today. Oh, you already have one? <laughs> I didn't feel good. <laughs> He's gonna do the rumali roti and the Kashmiri naan, which is a stuffed naan, which is with raisins and uh, dry fruits. My favorite naan is the Kashmiri naan. Kashmiri naan. Yeah, it's Love sweet, it, yeah. raisins, yeah, yeah, right? A little nutty too. Yep. Yes. Uh, and here it goes. With ghee. <laughs> Everything with ghee. Tastes better. It really tastes better with ghee, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Rumali in Hindi means handkerchief, so that's why it's fake, like handkerchief. Uh, it actually reminds me of like the Armenian lavas, right? So it's very thin, very long. Very big, so you just take pieces of it and you eat with the curry, yes. right? You eat with the curry, awesome. Even you can make a roll and you can eat like this, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, it's a tomato based sauce, yeah. Best gravy. gravy, oh yeah. my gosh, chicken with the bone. It's like 
The aroma. The aroma yeah. is coming. Buttery. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for coming, buddy. Thank you. My nice man, my man. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Subscribe your channel. Okay. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Too much, too much, too humble. Those gravies look incredible. We still have one more thing to see, and that is the Kashmiri. Right. Right. And you roll out the tandoor dough. Yeah. You put this in, you make it almost yeah. like a dumpling, then you roll it again yeah. into the tandoor, and it's out. You add ghee, 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 ghee. ghee. That's too much ghee. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. No, I mean, it's okay. You usually have to. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Appreciate it, thank you. Right, thank you so much. Oh. We're gonna go eat now. Yeah, yeah we're, we're starving. You like built my appetite. I like lost 20 awesome. pounds yeah. in this <laughs> kitchen. Like you know, the heat is too much. Yeah. It's too, I don't even know how you do it every day. I know, I know. <laughs> from last 30 years to 35 years, so it's we very for us. Man. How's it, how'd you like everything? Oh, I love that, I love that. All right, now you're gonna eat it. Let's go eat, let's, right, go, let's eat. go Oh, wow. This is how it is, Indian party, right? Yes. We have an endless bread here, and Kush already explained to us what everything is. So I think we have to start off with all the tandoori items first, yes. right? And that's obviously the hotter items right now. So I'm gonna definitely give you a beautiful lamb chop, right? Yep. Wow, look at this beauty. The masalas, oh, nice and moist. Oh, gorgeous. This is my favorite meat, by the way. Yeah? Lamb. Okay. Lamb and goat. Is, yep, definitely. Everything else is subpar. It's it. <laughs> <laughs> Love this. There's a party in the back. We had the music blasting. We have incredible food. Awesome company. Yes. Yes. So, how do we start? Obviously, lamb chop, right? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. My favorite. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Very good. What'd you put in here, man? So Incredible. We forgot the chutneys. Oh, the chutneys. The so we're gonna use chutneys for this one? We could. We could, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we could. do a tamarind? Both, both maybe? Both, yeah, we're gonna mix it. I like to mix it. Okay, let's mix. Just dip. I haven't done this before with the tandoor. Like with the lamb tandoor. I like to do it this way sometimes. I love it. Mm. The combination, mm -hmm. the best. So it's mint chutney and this was tamarind. Yes. Always sweet and freaking so incredible. juicy. Mm -hmm. So unique this one. Yes, so very different. different. Yeah, the masalas, right? This was the one on fire. Mm -hmm. This is excellent. <laughs> wow, the tamarind too. Mm -hmm. mm. Literally, the meat just comes off the bone. Mm -hmm. Chutney is good too. Mm hmm. Turning delicious, a little spicy. Mm -hmm. She's saying just on spot. I feel like I it's like, like it. a six right now. See your your spice level, and mine spice level is different. You put a chili in your mouth in the supermarket, man. I know, I know. I still feel it right now. But and now we're gonna try cheese on cheese on cheese. I'm gonna cut it right. Yes. Right. Whoa. Look at that. So it's paneer that's stuffed, and they added cottage cheese, cream cheese, and cheddar, cheddar cheese. cheese. Yeah. Mmm. Is this the same filling as the cashmere? Similar, right? Nice and nutty. Mm. Oh, so good. Mmm. Different. This is very different. Oh. Texture is playing in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I personally like everything without chutneys. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you want to add some, you know, extra level of flavor, yep. you add the chutneys, it's, right? Yeah. You know, I'm finishing this one because it's Me so too. good. I've never Delicious. had this. Mm-hmm. Mmm, it's a big piece of paneer, huh? Mm -hmm. Massive. We're gonna try this beautiful chicken. This one is the tandoori one. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Tangy. Delicious. And for this one, I love adding tamarind. Yep. For that, I can literally eat this food all day. Lovely. Mm -hmm. So your family's from Kerala. You were born in Bahrain. Yes. So what is like your food here? I'm from the south, so it's more of like coconut gravy and like other kinds of vegetables. Tamarind and coconut. We have this other chicken with veggies and it's called chatpata chicken. Mm. It's more like chicken chat. Mm -hmm. mm. Chicken chat. It's like a chicken chat. And why she says it's chat, because chat's like street food, you know, it usually has like a tropical feel to it, you know, salad, refreshing. Yes. I like it. It's different. I mean, especially mixed with this, right? Very not, different. I'm not a big cucumber guy, but I dig this one. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm like, for me it's like tomato over cucumber every day, you know? Oh. Next up we have the honey crispy vegetables. Mm. If you've ever gone to a Chinese restaurant and had honey chicken, very similar, right? Mm -hmm. But this is vegetables. So that was cauliflower, nice and breaded. Mm, I love, love it. It's a little sweet, mm -hmm. not spicy. No. I have carrot. Mmm. <laughs> oh, so good. Yeah, this is definitely for the Western palate. Yep. Not spicy. No. no. <laughs> okay, so we served ourselves all the curry. So we have four of them chicken, goat, paneer, and the other one is like almost like a dumpling, right? But made with spinach. Yes. Spinach kofta. So it's almost like malai kofta, yeah. right? Cashew gravy. Cashew gravy. That's my favorite gravy ever. And right here we have my favorite naan of all time. And then over here? Romali roti. Oh, you gotta lift it up. You gotta lift the whole thing. Let's see. Wow, look at that. It covers my whole face. Where's David? Just always get smaller pieces. It's something you learn in India. You don't get the whole thing. No. You get smaller pieces, you just on the side, and you just go into whichever, right? Let's do the butter chicken. Okay. This is bone in butter chicken. Bone in, huh? Oh, let me get the chicken. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to get the chicken because it's the bones. But, oh no, no, here we go. Mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm, cheers. Mm. Mm. Creamy, tender, moist, flavorful. Wow, butter chicken, obviously it's the most common Indian dish in the Western Hemisphere. Yeah. But it's the most delicious dish ever. Yeah, most places make it without bone, but this mm -hmm. is bone in butter chicken. Mm. Yeah, so it's going like that, right? I love the tomatoes, man. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. He was saying it's not gonna be like in abundance of cream compared to the other yeah. butter chickens, right? This so is more tomato. More tomato. And you know, you have to go in here and break it because it's bones. It's okay to do this, right? Mm hmm. Mm. Dude, I love it. You know what? I gotta go with this, right? Yep. So, next up, let's try something else here. Okay. What do you think? Maybe this? Yeah, the goat? Yeah. Okay. Obviously, because it's goat, you should go in here and try to break some of the meat off, right? Yep. With that. So, we do have a bone. If it's goat without bone, it's not goat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at you. Compare. <laughs> Ridiculous. Mm. Mm. Bro, the goat's unreal. Mm. I love the gravy. So, gravy's more like a brownish gravy, right? Lighter, not so much like heat. Yep. The bread though, the naan. Oh, I love this naan. Mm-hmm. Kashmiri naan. Crunchy, sweet, raisins. Nutty. Now I have some heat, right? Mm-hmm. After, after taste. Mm-hmm. A little bit of heat. That's what I feel like always with Indian cuisine. It's not like a, you know, in Mexico or in Thailand where you have these dishes and they just like hit you so yep. hard. Mm -hmm. This is like a coming after. out later, right? Slowly. Slowly. You feel it. Yeah, you feel it now, right? <laughs> Look at this, it's just like all the nuts are falling off. And next up, we're going for this delicious Chasseveran Kofta. Chasseveran Kofta. Chasseveran Kofta, the gravy, okay. cashew gravy. Mm. I can like literally drink the gravy, but next up, we have to grab the whole spinach thing. Well, look at the size difference, guys. Look at this. <laughs> She's doing it the Indian way, the true way. I'm the American. <laughs> Unique with spinach, right? Lovely textures again. Textures, flavor profile. Mm -hmm. You know, you have the cashews, the spinach, and then you have the sweetness of the naan. Mm -hmm. So good. Mmm. Creaminess from the curry. I can. It's so creamy. I mean, for me, the top two gravies ever are this one and the butter chicken gravy. Yes. They're just like unreal. They're timeless. Mm -hmm. You know. They're always gonna so be good. So different. Yeah. I've never had this before. Next up, paneer. So we're going with the thinner flatbread. Mm -hmm. Bam. Every single gravy here was out of this world, bro. Mm -hmm. but the food is crazy good. Yep. Whoa, I'm hitting walls. Mm. This girl can eat. I can, and that's why I'm a foodie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next up we have to add some rice to soak up into all these beautiful gravies. And then now, we're gonna do it the southern Indian way. So in the north, a lot of people don't they do the rice. Spoon. They use spoon. Mm -hmm. But spoon takes away some of the flavor. So we're gonna just use our hands and dive straight in here. So separate, you know, bones. Yeah. 
Well, at this point, it's all the curries. All the curries. Right? Just yeah. make a little ball? Yeah. Huh? Flavorful rice. Mm hmm. So, Pulao is mainly uh, veg rice, yes. right? And the main thing with Indian food is no limit to how you eat, right? People should not look down upon you because we're eating, you're filling your belly, and that's the main thing, right? Yes. Okay? Ready. Big bite. Mm hmm. The costume with the butter chicken gravy. Mm hmm. Wow. This is like a pairing made in heaven. Funny, oh, people have been telling me that I'm pretty good at this, right? Mm -hmm. But the main thing is that you don't leave a grain. <laughs> no grain is left behind. <laughs> That's true. That's true, right? So growing up, did you, um, this is how you ate at home? Yes. Yeah, right? I'm trying to show my kids. They're like, why are we using ham for the rice? Oh. And they, well, when you mix it with stuff, it, mm -hmm. it's really good. Yep. Plus, you don't get the taste of that spoon. It makes it better. It makes it better. Mm -hmm. If you want to, you, you want to make it sweet, add tamarind. Mm -hmm. You want to make it spicy, add something else, right? <laughs> make it your own. Make it your own. The back of my lips actually feels a tingle. That's probably still the green chili. You think so? Ugh. Okay, so what do we have here? Lime soda, fresh lime soda. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. No chat masala or something? A little bit, right? Yeah, always a little spice, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is refreshing. Yep. Mm. It helps digest, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we're not in the city right now. We're not in New York City, so we can't walk for three miles. So we're just gonna stand up and walk around with this. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> oh, so refreshing. So good. Mm. I'm not a big soda guy, mm -hmm. but I'll do this. Yeah. Especially right after a meal. After, mm -hmm. Feels good. Heavy meal. Man, the party is just jamming, man. It's amazing. So every weekend you can come here and have buffet, right? So they have a buffet, which is, you know, all you can eat buffet is amazing. They actually have panipuri right now, and they have some watermelons that are carved. So one of the guys that works here, he carves watermelons, carves ice. I'm gonna come back here one day and do a whole thing on that. Oh yeah. It's just amazing. That. <laughs> just that, just that. Well, cheers, my friend. We did it. Two down, yes. one more to go. Dinner time. Dinner. <laughs> I don't want to eat for a week. <laughs> oh, man, thank right, you so much. You thank you. Daba 305, coming soon. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Loved it, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it all. To the next. Walk that carbs down. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank You're you, thank you. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Thanks, guys. Thank you all. Thank you all. Two done, one to go. Where to next? House of Biryanis and Kebabs, which is in Denver. It's going awesome. to be great. So Biryani, Kebabs, probably some sweets, and we're going to give it a little break, like a two-hour break. We're just going to go around the area, relax, digest, yeah. oh, and maybe have a sweet. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No sweets. Just water. Water. <laughs> yeah. So this is Parsippany, right? So as you can see, beautiful forest in the area, lots of you know houses, commercial buildings, strip malls, and are there like Hindu temples? Big mix of a uh, lot of Indian population, but a big mix related to religion. Like, but I do see a lot of temples around here in Parsippany. And guys, just so you know, like in India, it's not only Hinduism, you know, huge Muslim population, Christian population, it's a big mix. It's really the land of different religions. Are we here? This is it, house of biryanis and kebabs. All right, all right, hey. what's up, guys? Hi, how are you? So what are we doing, biryani and kebabs? The best biryani is in kebabs. kebabs. <laughs> Perfect, let's go inside. Yep. Thanks. So I know that their cuisine is mostly from Hyderabad, like mostly Andhra Pradesh food. So a lot of kebabs, biryanis. So the layout here, very open concept, right? You have all windows, the street right there, and over here we have the kitchen. Let's go inside. How are you doing? Everything good? Good, good, good. What's up, guys? Everything good? Hi, how are you? Let's do it. So what are we making here? Over here, they're making some go. In here, they have two biryanis cooking. And over here, they're doing some chicken tikka, right? Yeah. Today, we're going to have uh, halim. We're going to have a Mughlai mutton roast, chicken 65, lamb chops, and our tandoori chicken. And we're also going to serve some uh, our authentic Hyderabadi biryanis. I don't know how I'm going to eat all that, but I'm going to try. I can't wait. Hyderabadi food is fantastic. I love Hyderabad. Riyanis, what else? Halim, for sure. It's gonna be spicy. I'm sure you can handle it. Dude, if you don't like spice, don't go to India. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lamb sikh kebab. I love this. So, sikh means basically like minced, right? Yeah. The, that's the difference. The rest of them are not sikh. This is a goat mughlai, roasted goat mughlai. Goat mughlai. It's like a goat curry. 
in a sense, right? It's like a more of a dry curry. Pretty much done like uh, curry and then it is uh, sauteed on the grill with some spices. The green chilies, you got coriander on top. It looks like a little spicy, right? A little bit. Yeah. So we have one, two, three, four, five dishes to start. We have the halim. So this is an incredible like Muslim dish. It's very pasty. You have the onions on top. I love this dish. Uh, I had it recently in Karachi. And then next to it we have chicken 65. Yes. So this is a staple. You know, it's basically breaded chicken, fried, and then they add, they saute it and they add some chili, right? Yes. And then what's this one? This is a goat. Uh, dish. Roast Roasted goat. goat. Well, I think this is gonna be my favorite. I can already tell. Yeah, it has okay. chilies, mm -hmm. looks spicy, and looks a little creamy, right? And yeah. these are all like more like dried curries, right? I mean, yes. especially this one. And over here we more have like another. Appetizers. Yeah, appetizers. Mm -hmm. And this one's like a cauliflower. Gobi. Yeah. And that one? Look you at know this thing, guys. This is nuts. <laughs> Let's try the chicken 65. Okay. She's taking it easy. She's too full. Right. <laughs> Mm, not Very so spicy. Mm -hmm. Last supper, so <laughs> we're all in. Go for it. Mm -hmm. I would say compared to like chicken nuggets or yeah, you know, fried chicken in a way, right? Flavorful. This is way more flavor. Obviously, oh, yeah. the masalas, you have the coriander, and if you want, you can get one of these chilies and add to it, right? Like that. You can do that. <laughs> yeah, I will do that. And this is a uh, is it the curry leaf. Curry leaf. Yeah. Right? Always. Well, That's what gives it flavor. Mm hmm. Hmm. Nice spice. Way better with that. Yep. What is 65? Because people have told me different stories about 65. Why is it called 65? Just a name? Just a name, right? And we also have some mango lassi. So after a little bit of spice, cool down with this, right? Mm. This I can do. Mm -hmm. It's a mix between super thick and light, right? Mm -hmm. Like almost watery down, right? Yeah. Creamy. I, I personally don't like the super thick one, but yeah. the Punjabi one, mm -hmm. obviously over there it's great, mm -hmm. but I don't want to get it so thick, thick and it's really heavy, mm -hmm. right? The cauliflower, mm -hmm. the gobi. It's like gobi manchurian without the gravy. Mm -hmm. This one, I know it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Look at this thing. It's like creamy goat. Oh. Obviously there is some bones in here, so be careful when you do bite into it. Yep. We get some of that gravy, we get some of the curry leaf. It was going to get bones with, with goat, but I think it's part of the experience, right? Yep. Play them out. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get some more of the chilies though. Oh, nice and spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's hot. I love this one though. Mmm. Mmm. Get a whole one. More than meat. Mmm. So juicy. Mmm. Nice and spicy. It's a spicy dish. I'm starting to break sweat. Yeah, yeah, I'm sweating. You know what it is, uh, all day chilies, chilies, chilies. Mm -hmm. Guess to you. I think I've had more chilies today than I had on the entire trip. Oh, yeah. But definitely your spice level is way up there. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh. oh, that's good, that's good. Okay, so next up we have the halim. So, what is halim? So, halim is ground meat with lentils. It's more like a thick soup mm -hmm. or a thick stew. Thick stew. Mm. Spices for flavors, fried onions for flavor. Exactly. So it Kay. feels like it feels like almost like a shredded chicken mm -hmm. with lentils, like a like right. good mash, right? Right. So it's very pasty. But I don't think this is chicken. No, it's not chicken. No. No, I'm just saying, but the, but right. it's like it's shredded, the right? Texture. The yeah. texture. Mm -hmm. So we have chicken, and he just brought lamb chops that are literally on fire. Look at that, just sizzling. So we have to start off with the chicken, right? Yes. Yeah, because the other one is way too hot. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Let's try this thing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my Charred. god. Charred. You really call this bone. Mm-hmm. It got like another chili. Uh-oh. This is crazy. I mean, you have to tell them like no chilies if you, <laughs> if you don't like chilies. Mmm. Oh, so tasty. Mmm, another masala. So much flavor. That's one thing we just noticed that it's very spicy. spicy. It's like hitting you slowly. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm so, so good. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm taking uh, a break. Uh, you need to take a break. <laughs> we still have biryani, and so that's rice. Oh yeah. Yes. That's gonna expand. Spicy, spicy dude. But spicy. Good. You love spicy? Oh we love it. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I love everything. To be honest, my favorite thing is the goat. 
and the halim. So good. Lassi break. Lassi break. Lassi break. We need a little, you know. Whew. Right here we have go biryani. Love to go biryani. So different from chicken biryani. I mean, look at this. So we're gonna go in here. We're both gonna break up. Ooh, it's you still nice and hot. You need the raita, right? And then this one is like a. This is like a peanut. Um, I wouldn't say sauce. It's more like a gravy, peanut gravy. Okay. So just a little bit of that. Oh, you're gonna put that right away. Okay. Take out the bone. Wow! Look at that. With the fat here. You're not supposed to leave. This is the best part right here. Mhm. Mm mm. How do we eat this? Very easy, right? Yep. Just like that. Keep mix breaking. Mix. Nothing like it. So there's someone got a tiny bite. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Flavorful. So much flavor. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love this one. Very tender though, yeah. Mm hmm Super tender. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say also the chicken was extremely tender as well, right? Yes. So you keep going in here, get all the rice. Better than us, right? <laughs> I try. I want to eat better than the Indians. Yeah, he does already. <laughs> he does, yeah. You're already there. This is the way I was taught, right? Just push in. Mmm. <laughs> the go. Oh, I'm done. So You're good. Done. I know we have a surprise dessert, right? Yeah. No. Uh oh, this is gonna be crazy. Long yeah, day man. full of Indian food. Mm -hmm. Good Indian food. Twenty-four hours. Twenty-four hours. Twenty-four shipping. And food coma. <laughs> You know what though? Every day Indian food is a good day. Oh yes, I agree. Whoa. And uh... <laughs> yeah, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Done. Easy. <laughs> now I don't even have to wash my hands. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Okay, I'm excited. I haven't had this dessert in a long time, so it's not Ras Malai. This is Kheer. So what's Kheer? Kheer is, this is like a rice pudding. So it's basically milk, rice, sugar, um, cardamom, almonds. Mm -hmm. Come from like Latin America, this is arroz con leche. Very similar, so rice and milk, right? And then we go inside, oh yeah, so it's nice. Look at this. It's like nice and nutty. nutty very pasty. It has some oh, it has light, light. lychee in the... Oh, some oh, lychees. lychees. No, lychees. that was good. Got the lychees, right? You got the rice, the almonds. almonds. I might finish this whole thing. I think so. Mmm. Mm. It's good. Mmm, that's so different. Mmm. Different and yummy. Mm -hmm. Lychee, lychee. There's something to talk about. Yeah. You know what? The thing is, I come from Spanish background, yeah. so lychee. Lychee? You know, so lychee. 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 Yeah. Mmm. That's good. Especially like in Chinese communities, they love this. Mm -hmm. This is like a big thing for them, right? I actually have a, one of these trees in my house. You do? Yeah. And that's it, my friends. 24 hours of eating Indian food in Parsippany. 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 Parsippany, New Jersey. Only like a, you know, like a 90 minute drive from New York. Less. Yes. So less, less than that. Less than that. Right, so what did we do today? Daba Express. And then from there we went to Jashin by Daba. And then finally here for dinner, which is House of Biryanis and Kebabs. Exactly, and we also stopped at a supermarket, the Bazaar. Big Bazaar Delight in Persephone. Mm -hmm. So we walked around, we saw so many products. I bought some jewelry for my kids. And yeah, I mean, everything was freaking delicious. Gotta give a big thanks to everybody involved. And that was Indian food in New Jersey. I highly recommend visiting all these locations. It will take you easily four days to do them all. If you guys love this video, please give me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment below if you've ever been to any of these places or if you will go in the future. And yeah, subscribe for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Namaste, Namaskar.